All right. Here we go. We're going to read the entire script. <clears throat> Star Wars Episode 2. And hold on before we start this thing. Because who knows if the live stream is actually alive and being living. Because we're going to have to read this whole thing. And if there's nothing. The is actually alive and being What are these things? Oh, frick. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Star Wars Episode Two, Attack the Clones, 2002. By George Lucas. Exit. Spave. A vast sea of stars. Versailles as a backdrop for the main title. Falling by a roll-up. Which crawls into infinity. There is an unrest in the galactic sand. Several hundred solar systems under the leadership of the rebel leader Count Dooku have declared their intentions to succeed from the Republic. This Severist movement has made it difficult for the limited number of Jedi Knights to maintain peace and order in the galaxy. Senator Amadama, the former Queen of Naboo, is returning to Coruscant to vote on the critical issue of creating an army to assist the overwhelmed Jedi. Pan up to reveal an amber city planet of Coruscant. A little Naboo fighter flies over camera toward the planet, followed by a light, large royal ship and two more fighters. Exit. Scene, City Cape, Coruscant, Dawn, the ships scrim across the surface of the sky, landscape, the sun glints off the chrome hulls of the sleek Naboo aircraft as they navigate between buildings of the capital planet, as it, Coruscant, landing platform, Dawn, two Naboo fighters land on one leaf of the three leaf cover landing platform. The net, the Royal Starship lands on the center lead, and the third fighter lands on the remaining platform. A small group of dig initaries waits to welcome the senator, one of the members of the group, as well. Uh, dress Jar Jar Binks, a member of the Galactic Representatives Commissions, and Jerome Senator Amadama's handmaiden. One of the fighter plot pilots jumps from the wing of his ships and removes his helmet. He is Captain Typho, Senator Amadama's security officer. We made it. I guess I was wrong. There was no danger at all. <clears throat> The ramps powers two Naboo guards appear. Senator Amadama, one main handed verse, and four troopers to see the ramp. Amadama is more beautiful now than she was after ten years earlier, when, as the queen, she was freeing her people from the yoke of the Federation <laughs> Trade Federation. <clears throat> the dignitaries start to move. Senator Amadama reaches the foot. Of the ramp, suddenly there is a bland, blinding flash and a huge explosion. The dignitaries and the pilots are hurried to the ground as the starship is destroyed. Kellanox Blair, alarm sound, Captain Typho, <coughs> Typho, and two exotic pilots get up and run where to call Senator Alamadama lying dead. Beyond R2, D2 drops down from the Naboo fighter and rolls down the wreckage. The female Escarance pilot kneels down by Senator Adama and takes off her helmet, revealing 
Senator Padme Amadama. Corday, she gathers up her decoy, doubled in her arms. Corday's eyes are open. She looks up at her. I'm sorry, milady. I'm... I'm not sure I... Corday dies. Padme hugs her. No, no, no. Padme lowers Cordy to the ground. She gets up and looks at the devastation. There are tears in her eyes. I should not have come back. Milady, are you still in danger? Ad 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 Amadama says nothing. <clears throat> the vote is very important. Did you do your duty? And Cordy did hers. Now come. She doesn't respond. Milady, please. She turns. They walk away. R2 lets out a small whimper and rolls off after them. Exit. Senate Building Day. The massive Senate building glistens in the, in the afternoon sun. Small patches of fog have still off, still to burn off. Int. Interaction. Senate Chamber Day. The vast... Row Tuna is buzzing with chatter. Mass Amada, Supreme Chancellor's Majordomo, tries to quiet things down as Papaltine confers with Adil Uvijgin, <clears throat> riding a small floating, riding riding a small one-man floating scooter. Order. We shall have order. The motion for the Republic to commission an army takes precedence. And is that we will vote at this time? Everything quiets down. The aid depresses, and Senator Chancellor Palpatine steps to the podium. My esteemed colleges, excuse me, I have just revised some tragic, re re received some tragic and disturbing news. Senator Amadala. Of, Nab of, Nabu of the Nabu system has been assassinated. There is a shock silence in the vast arena. Continued. The grievous blow is especially personal to me. Before I because before I became chancellor, I served Amidala when she was the queen. She was a great leader who fought for those justice not in this honorable assembly, but only on her home planet. She was so loved, she could have been elected queen for life. She believed in public service, and she <clears throat> fervently believed in democracy. Her death is, gr is a great loss to us. We will mourn as her resentless champion of freedom as a dear friend. There is a moment of silence. Ask Eka. The center, the senator of Molester moves his pod into the center of the arena. How many more senators will die before the civil strife ends? We must confront these rebels now, and they need an army to do it. A second pod moves into the center of the arena with the smar, the ambassador of Glee, assumes. Why? Weren't we the Jedi? Weren't the Jedi able to stop the assassination? We are not no longer. We are no longer safe under their protection. Senator Ormy feels swings forward in his pod. The Republic needs more security now, before it comes to war. Must I, the Senator from Malister, the negoti Malaster? that negotiations are from continuing with the separatists. Peace is our objective here, not war. The senators yell in pro and con. Mass Abedin tries to calm things down. Senator Padme Amidala and with Captain Typho, Jar Jar, and the drone met, maneuver her pod into the center of the vast arena. My noble colleagues, I conquer with the Supreme Chancellor at all costs. Do not want war. The Senate goes quiet. Then there is an outburst of cheering and applause. <clears throat> it is with great surprise the chair recognizes the Senator from Naboo, Padme Amadala. Less than an hour ago, 
An assassination attempt was made against my life. One of my six bodyguards, uh, one of my bodyguards and six others were ruthlessly and senselessly murdered. I was a target, but more importantly, I believe this security measure before you was a target. I have led the opposition to build an army, but there is an awesome. Oops. There is someone in this body who will stop nothing for sure. It's passage. Many of the centrists boo and yell at Senator Adama. Continuing, I warn you, if you vote to create this army, <clears throat> war will follow. I have experienced the misery of war firsthand. I do not wish to do it again. There is a sporadic yelling for her against her statements. Wake up, Senators. You must wake up. If you offer the separatist violence, they can only show us violence in return. Many will lose their lives. All will lose their freedom. This decision could be very well destroyed. The very foundation of our great republic. I pray you do not let fear push you into the disastrous decision. Vote down the security measure which is less than a declaration of war. Does anyone here want that? I believe they do. There is an undercurrent of booing and groaning. Senator Orenfita moves his pod to Amanoa. My motion to defer the vote must be dealt with first. That is this the rule of law? <clears throat> Amadama looks angry and frustrated. Papaldine gives her a sympathetic look. Due to the lateness of the hour and the serious of this motion, we will take up these matters tomorrow. Till then, the Senate stands adjourned. <clears throat> Exit. Exclusive quarters building. Day. The giant towers of the public. Exclusive building seem to reach the heavens. Traffic clogs the smoky skies. Int. Chan pa Chancellor's office. Day. Chancellor Palpatine sits behind his desk with two red clay royal guards on each side of the door. Yoda, Plotnon, Ki Amada, and Mace Windu sit a, a crease from him. I don't know how much longer I can hold off the vote, my friends. More and more star systems are joining by the separatists. If they break away, no, I will not let that happen. But if they do, you must realize that there are an agenda to protect the Republic. We are now, we are keepers of peace, not soldiers. Master Yoda, do you think it will really come to war? Yoda closes his eyes. Worse than war. I fear much worse. What? What do you sense, Master? Impossible to see. The dark side clouds everything. But this I am sure of. Opens his eyes. Do their duty with the Jedi will. A muted brother sounds a hologram of aid war. Dar Wack appears on the Chancellor's desk. The Loyalist Committee has arrived, my lord. Send them in. They all stand at Sandra Amadama, Trifle, Jar Jar Binks, Miss Abada, Dorm, and Senators of all Oregon. Uh, Hark Sarida and Aura Free Ta enter the office. Yoda and Mace Windu move to the Great Center. Yoda. Taps Amadama with his cane. You. With you. The force is strong, young senator. To see you still alive brings warm to my heart. Thank you, Master Yoda. You do. Do you have any idea who was behind that attack? Our intelligence points. To this delinquent spy miners on the mound, on the moons of Nabu. I didn't, I don't wish to disagree, but I think Count Duca was behind it. There's a stir of compromise. Do 
You you know, m'lady, Count Dooku was once a Jedi. He wouldn't assassinate anyone. It is not in his character. He is a political idealist, not a murderer. In dark times, nothing is what it appears to be. But the fact remains, Senator, in grave danger you are. Palpatine gets up, walks to the window, and looks at the vast city. Count Dooku has always avoided any kinds of conflict. It appears he has no desire to start a war. Why would he kill you to end what? I don't know, but everything is... In my being tells me he was behind it. After getting out of the window for several moments, Hamilton turns to Mace Windu. Ma Master Jedi, may I suggest that the senator to be placed in an abduction of your graces? Do you think that this is a wise use of manpower during these stressful times? Chancellor, if I may, if I may comment... I do not believe the situation is that serious. No, but I do, Senator. Chancellor, please, I don't want any more guards. I realize all too well that additionally, Secretary Security might be disrupted for you. But perhaps someone you are familiar with, an old friend like Master Kenobi. Palpatine notes to Mace Window, who nods back. That's impossible. He just returned from a border dispute on... And, Jean? You must remember him, m'lady. He watched over you during the blockade conflict. This is not necessary, Chancellor. Do it for me, m'lady. Please, I will rest much easier. We had a big scare today. The thought of losing you was un... Bearable. Amidala sighs as a Jedi. Get up to leave. <clears throat> I will not have Obi-Wan report to you immediately, my lady. Yoda leans into her ear. Too little about yourself, worry Senator. And too much politics. Be mindful of your danger, Padme. Accept our help. As the Jedi leave uh, the office, Palpatine continues the pace. His desk. I will not like this republic. What? That? Um. He has stood for over a thousand years. Be put in stew. Exit. Sanitation Apartments. Twilight. A graceful skyscraper sky scraper twinkles in the evening lets a coruscant. The door to the apartment slides open. Jar Jar walks into the coordinate where two Jedi are excited in the elevator. He recognizes Obi-Wan and comes to extreme excited, jumping around, shaking his hand. Obi, Obi, Oba. Misa saw smiling to see you, so whoa. It's good to see you too, Jar Jar. Obi-Wan smiles. Oops, where's some Misa manners? Excuse me, Master Obi-Wan. I completely forgot myself. If I want, I have to learn. Dip the cetacean speak. I don't like Nito now. Don't realize. See the potential. Actually. But members of the Senate seem to refer it. Jar Jar notices Obi-Wan's appearance. Jar Jar. And this, I take, is your apprentice? No. No. Annie? Little... Bitty Annie looks at Anakin. No, you so, so big and you, Annie, Misa, no believing. Hi, Jar Jar. Jar Jar grabs hold of Anakin and envelopes into a big hug. Annie, Annie, yee. Enter scene in the evening. Pat is in a conference. With Captain Jerome and Jar Jar enters the room with the two Jedi. Looky, looky, oops. Oh dear, I've forgotten myself again. Padme and Trifle rises. Obi Wan and Anakin step for a senator. Obi Wan steps forward. Anakin stares at Padme. She gives. Hmm. It is a great pleasure to see you again, my lady. It has been far too long, Master Kenobi. I am so glad I passed across again. 
But I must warn you that you think your power is presence. I am sure the Jedi Council had their reasons. She moves in front of Anakin. Annie? My goodness, you've grown. He took a look at the stair for a long moment. It tries to be smooth. So you have grown. More beautiful? I mean, and much shorter. For a senator, I mean. Obi-Wan looks disprovingly at his apprentice. Padme laughs and shakes her head. Oh, Annie, you'll always be that little boy I knew on Tatooine. The embarrassed Anakin looks down. Obi-Wan. Captain Taifu smile. <clears throat> Our presence will be invisible, milady. I'm very grateful you are here, Master Kenobi. The situation is more dangerous than a search, I will admit. I do not need more security. I, ans I need answers. You know who is trying to kill me? We are friends to protect you, Senator. Not to start an, an investigation. <clears throat> We will find out who is trying to kill you, Padme. I promise you. He's done nothing against it. He bites in his lip in frustration. Obi-Wan gives Anakin a dirty look. We are not going to execute our mandate, my young pylon there. I mean, in the interest of protecting our master. Of course. We are not going through this exercise again, Anakin. You will learn to pay attention, my lady. Why? What? Why anything else you think you're going to assign her? If not, find the, the killer. Protect. Shin is a job. Vertical security, not Jedi. It is overkill, master. Investigation is limpid. Uh, in our mandate, we will do as the council has instructed, and you will learn your place, young one. Perhaps with merely your presence, the mysteries surrounding this threat will be revealed. Now, if you excuse me, I will return. Retire. One gives Amadama a slight bow as she drums. Leave the room. Well, I know I feel a lot better having you here. I'll have an officer on every floor. I'll be at the command. Center downstairs. Misa busting with happiness. See and Yusa again, Annie. This is a bad times. Ah, bad time. Captain Tugbado leaves. She didn't even recognize me, Jar Jar. I thought I was going. I thought every, about every day since we parted. And she's forgotten me completely. She's a happy, happier than Misa ever seen in a long old time. Anakin, you're focusing on the negative again. Be mindful of your thoughts. She was trying. She was glad to see us. Now let's check the security here. Yes, my master. Exit Jedi Temple evening. Oh, the vast Jedi Temple sits on an endless flat plain, so biting against a traffic-filled sky. Mace Windu and Yoda walk down the long hallways, still holded by a lit room at the end. Why couldn't we see this attack on the senator? Making the future is your disturbance in the Force. The prophecy is coming true. The dark side is growing. And only those who have turned to the dark side can sense the possibilities of our future. Only going through the dark side can we see. It has been ten years and the Sith still have no shown themselves. <clears throat> Do you think they are behind this? <clears throat> Out there they are, a sentry that is... Do you think Obi-Wan's apprentice will be able to bring balance to the Force only if he chooses to follow his destiny? <clears throat> There's a long silence as they walk across the way. Only footsteps are heard. Into the center building, Amadama's bedroom nights. Padme's asleep, lying in bed. The blinds are two stands in the corner of the bedroom. His power is off. 
In the same building for his Saturday night, Anakin is standing in the living room. He's in a mental state. It is quiet. We hear distant footsteps in the corridor outside the apartment. Suddenly, Anakin's eyes pop open. His eyes dart around the room. He reaches for his lightsaber. Then smiles and puts it in his belt. The door apartment slides open and Obi-Wan enters. <clears throat> Captain Typhu has more than enough men downstairs. No assess will be tried that way. Any activity up there? <clears throat> Quiet as a tomb. I don't like just waiting here for something to happen to her. Obi Wan checks a palm sized view scanner. Uh, <clears throat> he has pulled out of his utility belt. It shows a shot of R2 by the door, but no sign. Of Padme on the bed. What what's going on? Anakin shrugs. She covered that camera. I don't think she likes me watching. <clears throat> what is she thinking? She programmed R2 to warn us if there is an intruder. It is not an intruder. <clears throat> I am worried about. There are many other ways to kill a senator. I know, but we also want to catch this assassin. Don't we, Master? You're using her as a bait. It was her idea. No harm will come to her. I can sense everything in that room. Trust me. It's too risky, and your senses aren't that attuned, young apprentice. And yours, and yours are possibly. Int, enter, center building, Padme's apartment, bedroom, night. As Padme sleeps, a proctor approaches her in the window and sends several small arms. And attached to the window, creating sparks that shut down the security systems and a large arm cuts a small hole in the glass. A faint sound is heard as small sections of the glass move from the window. R2 wakes up and the light goes on. The pro droid freezes. R2 looks around, makes a point of little sound, and shuts down again. The pro droid attaches a little tube of the window to a deadly looking centerpiece. Like Chorus. Kaza exit the tube, crawling through the blinds and hands <clears throat> around the sleeping Padme. And so, and tests uh, Padme's apartment in room night. Anakin and Obi Wan continue their conversation in the main room of the apartment. <clears throat> look, you look tired. I don't sleep well anymore because of your mother. I don't know. Why I keep dreaming about her. I haven't seen her since I was little. Dreams pass in time. I'd rather dream of Padme. Just being around her again is intoxicating. Mind, mind your thoughts, Anakin. They betray you. You've made a commitment to the Jedi Order. Commitment not easily broken. And don't forget she's a politician. They're not easy to be trusted. She's not like the others in the Senate, Master. It's only been my experience that the Senators are only focused on pleasing those who fund their campaigns and are more willing than to forget the necessities of democracy to get those funds. Not in our lecture, Master. These are on the... Um, emotions, economics of politics. It's too early in the morning, and besides, you're generalizing the Chancellor. Doesn't appear to be corrupt. Palpatine's a politician. I've observed that he's very clever at following the passions and pregicides pregicides of uh, the senators, I think he is a very good man. My instincts are positive about. Anakin looks stunned. He looks sharply at Obi Wan. I sense it too. 
<clears throat> Insets, state building, pan, uh, Adama's apartment, bedroom, night, other two. Sounds an alarm and ships off in the light. The limbs are inching in Padme's face around her mouth and the wicked stinger slips. It's not Orby Wine. I can burst into the room. Cons is in the her legs and hiss. Padme wakes up. Anakin throws her, himself in front of her, walking in half the deadly creature with his lightsaber. Obi Wan sees the droid outside the window uh, and rascals rake, 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 frickles straight at it. Crashing through the blinds as he goes throughout the window. <sighs> Exit a uh, window, ledge, apartment, building, night. Obi Wan flies to the glass and flings himself at the probe droid, grabbing onto the deadly machine before it can flee. The probe droid thinks under the weight. Obi Wan manages to float and is away with the Jedi hanging on for dear life. A hundred stories about the city. <clears throat> and. Senate building Amadama's apartment, nice face, Anakin apartment, by Joy Anakin turns her off. And on the shoulders, stay here. <clears throat> Captain Surfer with two guards in dorm. Enter the room as Anakin just is out, exit the escape course on night. The pro droids and several protective benches rocks across its surface, causing Obi Wan to almost lose his grip. As they dart into the speed drift of traffic, Obi Wan disconnects a wire on the back of the droid. It shuts its power, shuts off. Obi Wan and the droid drop like the rocks. Obi Wan realizes the error of his ways and quickly puts the wire back. The droid systems light up again and takes off. Exits the entrance night. Anakin charges out of the building and runs out of the line. Parks speeders. He bellows into an open and takes off, gunning its fast towards the line of speeders trafficking high. Exit City Skate Course on night. The droid pumps against a wall, hoping to knock the Jedi loose. It moves behind speeder. After Burn is scorching him, it takes the Jedi wildly uh, build between buildings and finally skins across the rooftop as Obi Wan listens to the forces of the Slowly hanging on to the droid, the droid heads for dirty and beats up speeder hidden in the bulb, building about 20 stories up on the pilot. The speedrunner with a scruffy bounty hunter called Zam Whistle <coughs> sees <coughs> the droid approach with uh, Obi Wan hanging on. She pulls a long rifle out of his speeder and starts to fire at the droid. <coughs> <coughs> Explosions burst around Obi Wan. I have a bad feeling about this. Finally, the droid suffers a direct hit and blows up. Obi Wan falls 50 stories until a speedrunner drops down to him and manages to grab on. The end of the speedrunner and his haul himself towards his cockpit. The Jedi struggle to climb to the passenger seat of the sp open speedrunner and sits to the driver, Anakin. <clears throat> That was wacky. I almost lost you in the traffic. What took you so long? Oh, you know, Master. I couldn't find a speed speeder. I really liked it with a cockpit and with the right capabilities. And then, you know, I had to get into oh, so I had to zoom in upwards in the hot crescent of Zam Eshel fires out the window at them with her laser pistol. If you're, if you'd spend as much time working your saber skills, doing your wit, young Padawan, you would rival Master Yoda as a swordsman. I thought I already did. Only in your mind, my very young princess. Careful. Hey, easy. <clears throat> As this conversation is going on, Anakin the 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 the. Stiffly moves out of the oncoming traffic across the lanes between buildings and there closely through a construction light. Zam Whistle continues firing at them. Sorry, I forgot you guys. I forgot you don't like flying, Master. I don't mind flying, but what you're doing is suicide. They barely miss the computer tracing. Master. You are doing flying since 
Before I could walk, I'm very good at this. Just slow down. Sand whistle and a Jedi whistle line up across. It was made up of giant trucks of speed around a bank. Sideways as they slide around the right angle turns between the buildings. Sam races into a tunnel tram. Obi Wan continuing. Wait, don't go in there. Anakin zooms into the tunnel. I hear Sam. They see a tram coming at them. They break, turn around, and race barely out of the giant charging the computer transport. You know, I don't like it when you do that. Sorry, Master, don't worry. This guy is gonna kill himself any now. Sam Whistle turns turns into oncoming traffic, deliberately trying to throw the Jedi off. Oncoming speeders reserve trying to avoid Sam and the Jedi Master Sam. Was a quick type over and ends up behind the Jedi. She is now much further in a position to flare at them. With her laser pistol to avoid being hit by the laser bolts, Anakin slams on the brakes and moves along Zam. She now fires point black at Obi Wan. What are you doing? It's gonna blast me right. This is only Anakin slides in there. Zam's for Peter there is a traffic of speed or right on the track of the bounty hunter skims over the rooftops, causing Anakin to drop behind. Anakin goes through his Gear zooming around the traffic, the race at high speeds across a wind. A wide flat surface to the city plan, a large spacecraft almost collides with them. As it attempts to land, they round a corner and clip a flag, which gets caught at one of the air servers. That was too close. Clear that. What? Clear the flag. We're losing power. Hurry. Now we want to lean out of speed rather than crawls. I was onto the front engine, pulling the flag free. With the scoop, the speeder launches forward with a strange surge of power. Whoa, don't do it. I don't like it when you do that. Sorry. So sorry, Master. Well, that's just the bounty hunter through a power referee. Me. Hmm. <clears throat> It's dangerous near those power couplings. Slow down. Go, don't go through there. Huge electrical bolts between the buildings as the speeders pass. Yui, what are you doing? Sorry, master. Oh, that was good. That was crazy. Then slides around the corner sideways, blocking alley, firing point point, and then he approaches. Continuing. Ah, oh, damn. Stop. No, we can't make it. <clears throat> and he can barely misses the bounty hunter's feet on her as he does. under it, and there's a small building hitting several pipes and going wildly out of control. And can. Struggle. <laughs> Uh, to regain control of speed and narrowly missing the crane barely clipping in a part of the giant notice the giant gas full of shoots up causing ass in the spin into a bump and hold this to the speed runner. I'm crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. It worked. We made it angrily. It didn't work. We've stalled. And you've almost gotten us killed. I didn't think we're still alive. Anakin works to get out of the speed of started. Quickly races to life very angrily. It was stupid, she foolishly. I could have made it furious. But you don't. And now we've lost them. Suddenly, there is an ambush, laser bolt fire everywhere, explosions surround them, they look to see Zam whistle take off. No, we didn't. <clears throat> Out of the clouds, smoke and balls of the flames, Jedi tear at Zam. They are smoking, Obi-Wan slaps. Out of the small fire on the dashboard, Zam goes up in the engine, there is a near miss as the speeder almost hits them. Sam turns down 
and left between the other building and can close and to the right. Where are you going? He went down there the other way. This is a shortcut, I think. What do you mean, you think? What kind of shortcut? He went completely the other way. You lost him. Master, if we keep this chase going, that creeps gonna end up <clears throat> deep fried personally i'd very much like to find out who in the hell he is and who is he working for sarcastic Oh, that's why we're going into the wrong direction. Anakin turns up a side street, zooming up several small passageways, then stops hovering about 50 stories. Continuing, well, you lost him. I'm deeply sorry, Master. <clears throat> Anakin looks around. Front and back. He spots something. He seems to start counting to himself. Oh, as he watches something below approach. Continuing. Excuse me for a moment. Anakin just knows Peter. Obi-Wan looks down as he zams Peter about five stories. Uh, Anakin makes everything to the end of the Look at the reveals what happens. The other off and Anakin's sister almost looks like a man. She's saying, Anakin works his way to the speeder. He's all quick, but just in the sun. And these Anakin flies for him. For example, he says, I'm not so either. There is a blast in Anakin's hand, which breaks off a piece of the speeder. Anakin slides to the right. Four girls on the speeder where Zam can't reach him. He scrambles to the top. <clears throat> Holding on to the air scoop. Obi-Wan has no driving seat. It is safe and is def definitely. Ah. Gain the rope here. Traffic in him. <coughs> Then the cross terrifically finally Anakin is able to get a hold of his lightsaber and starts to cut off the way of a roof. The spear is the thing saw. Her laser pistol starts firing on the straight eye, knocking the sword out of his hand. Obi Wan races under the speeder and catches the Jedi weapon in the passenger seat. Anakin sticks his hand into the cockpit and using the force pulls the gun out of Sam's hand. She grabs the giant's hand and then they struggle for her weapon. It goes off, blowing into the hole, blowing the floor, blowing the speeder, speeder, and her currents. Wildly out of control. Zam struggles to put the speeder out of its nose. Dive Obi Wan gets slowed down by the traffic and loses the sight of the bounty hunter speeder. Just as the dragster is about to nose dive to the ground, Zan pulls it out and slides onto the pavement in a shower of a spark. Anakin goes flying into the street. Exit to the museum. Since the curse speeder runs, Anakin picks himself off. The pavement runs into the street. The curse speeder Ah! Anakin barges into the case of them. After fleeting Sam, he loses a bounty hunter to the crowd. Seeing them again, the young Jedi is having a very difficult time in getting through the crowd. A head Zam turns into the door. This appears a nightclub size. Watching where Anakin is just about to fall, Zam and Zeus are all laid down. So the people start 
Moving out of the way, and the uh, other mirror lands in the streets below him. Obi Wan gets out and walks, walks over, holding Anakin's lightsaber. <clears throat> Anakin. She went into that club, Master. Patience, Obi Wan. Hands Anakin his lightsaber. Here, next time, try not to lose it. Sorry, Master. Anakin reaches for the lightsaber. But Obi Wan holds it back. A Jedi's saber is the most precious position. Yes, Master. He reaches for the right saber. Yeah, Obi Wan pulls it back. You must keep it with him at all times. I know, Master. This weapon is your life. I've heard this lesson before. Obi Wan finally holds the lightsaber and Anakin grabs it. But Anakin, you have to worry anything. I try, Master. Enter nightclub night. Obi Wan and Anakin enter the nightclub bar and everyone stares at them. Why do you think you're going to be the death of me? Don't say that, Master. You're in the closet. Everything has a father. I love you. I don't want you to cause pain. Why? Then why don't you listen to me? I will. I'll do better. I promise. Do you see him? Him? I think she's a she. <clears throat> then be careful. Extra careful. Not to a room. Check it out. Obi Wan goes away. Where are you going, Master? To get a drink. Obi Wan heads for the bar. Anakin blinks in surprise. Then moves into the room where alien forces look back at him with a hostile suspicion. <sighs> In investigation, he goes on the tables. Obi Wan arrives at the bar. He signals at the bar and closed. We're somewhere in your room. Hands are a pistol holster. I'm safely. The bar glass turns in front of Obi Wan. The drink sword. He lifts the glass. You want to buy some death sticks? Obi Wan looks at him. Understands here. You will not send me the death sticks. I do not want you to sell the death sticks. Obi-Wan with his fingers. You want me to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. He leaves. Obi-Wan lifts the drink and tosses it. Close the gun is drawn from holster and the hilt down out beside the bounty hunter starts to move to the bar and I can check out the alien faces. Obi-Wan Signals for another drink. The gun moves towards his unsuspecting back. The drink is poured. Obi Wan reaches for the gun is raised, aimed directly back at his hand. And suddenly, Obi Wan turns fast. His lightsaber flies. There is a shrill scream in Zam's arm in the floor. The gun drops, switching fingers. Blood separates. The room is silent. Aliens rise mysteriously from their seats, and Anakin is. Suddenly, at Obi Wan's side, his lightsaber is going. Easy officials, easy official business. Go back to your drinks. Slowly, the alien sit conversations in the room. On stage, the performers pick up the routine. Obi Wan and Anakin lift them, carry her out. Exactly. Alien side nightclub night. Obi Wan and Anakin carry Zam into the alley and lower her into the ground. Obi Wan attends to her wounded shoulder. She stares up. He fully at Anakin. She winces in pain, then nods. Do you think? Do you know who it was you were trying to kill? The senator Naboo, who hired you. Zam goes to Obi Wan. It was just a job. Tell us that Senator is going to die soon anyway. And the next one won't make the same mistake I did. This wounded is going to need treatment. Who hired you? Tell us. Tell us now. Sam carefully Blair's hatefully, it would be a bounty hunter call. There's a sudden fist sound, Zan twitches you blinks to surprise and dies. There is a whoosh from above, Obi-Wan and Anakin look up and see an armed rocket man. Taken off from the roof and a high above, Obi-Wan looks down at Zam. He touches her neck and pulls out a small wicked looking dart. 
toxic dark in the building. And when that was apartment day, and when that Anakin and Jar Jar stand near the door of the enter's room, had me the Bedroom Padme and Jerome move over in the language. Respect the resident of Binks. I know I can count on you. You said bitchin. What? Me bottoms. What? Coughs. Recovers. Oh, Pater Rosenta. I mean, I'm honored to accept this heavy burden. I take this on responsibility. With my humanity tangles overwhelming pride, constantly, it is not every day that I am called upon to. But then they kiss him on that cheek and gives him a hug. Jar Jar turns around. You are a good friend, Jar Jar. I don't know. I don't wish to hold you up. I am sure you're going to have a great deal to do. Of course, my lady. Jar Jar. Bows and goes out as he as he passes Anakin. He flashes a dazzling smile. Padme is in a very bad mood. <clears throat> I don't like this idea of hiding. <laughs> Worry, the council has understanding and innovation. We won't take our master Obi Wan to find the bounty hunter. Frustrated, I haven't worked for a year to defeat the military creation art. Jeez. Now to be here in his fate is decide. Sometimes we have to let go of our pride and do what is requested of us. Pride, any you're young and you don't have firm grasp on politics. I suggest you reserve your opinion for some other time. Sorry, my lady. I was just trying to Hey. What? Hey. Hey, where was I? Annie, no, don't call me that. What, Annie? I've always called you that, isn't it? Annie, isn't it? It's Anakin. When you say Annie, it's like I'm still a little boy, and I'm not. I'm sorry, Anakin. It's impossible to know you've looks over. Looks him over. You've grown up. Padme smiles at Anakin. He's become a little shy. Master Obi-Wan managed to not see it. Padme. Mentors. Have a way of seeing more of our faults than we would like. And it's our only way to grow. Don't get me wrong, Obi-Wan is a great mentor. His wise master, Yoda, is more powerful than us to Windu. I am truly thankful to be his only friend. If only although I am Padawan Warrior, in some ways, Yoda learns I am ahead of him. I am not ready for a trust. I know I am. And guess what? He knows it, too. He believes to see what unappreciated other Jedi in my age have gone through the trials and made it. I know. I started my training late. But he won't let me move on. That must be frustrating. It's worse. He's overloaded critical. He never listens. He just doesn't understand. It's not fair. Padme cannot suppress a laugh. She shakes her head. I'm sorry. You sound exactly like the little boy I once knew when he didn't get his way. I'm not whining. I'm not. Padme just smiles at him. Or I'm lost in the background. I didn't say it didn't hurt you. I know. There's a brief silence. Padme comes over to Anakin. Anakin? Whew. They look into each other's eyes for the first time. Continuing. Don't try to grow up too fast. I am growing up. You said it yourself. Anakin looks deep into Padme's eyes. Please don't look at me like that. Why not? Because I can see what you're thinking. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, so legitimate powers to you too, yeah? 
Storm is watching with concern. <clears throat> Ugh. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Sorry, my lady. <clears throat> and it came back the way Padme turns and goes to her packing extra Coruscant spaceport fighting dogs. Transport bus day, a small bus to be pulled towards the massive fire ducks of Coruscant's industrial area. Spaceport exposed to negativity, transports and ferries. Those and passengers, the giant float, cranes lift cargo with the ships, but the bus for a huge and practical fighter starship it parks in the shadows of an overhang. Enter Coruscant spaceport fighter ducks to transport day bus. In a kind of Padme dress in an outline presence as head of the, the door, Captain Toyo, uh, we want our waiting. And look at the door, Mr. Rusty Center Padme. My lady, be safe. Thank you, Captain. Take good care of drone. <clears throat> That's on you, too, now. It'll be safe with me. They laugh and Padme embraces her faithful handmaiden dorm. Starts to weep. You'll be fine. It's not me, my lady. I worry about you. What if they realize I'm not you? Looks to Anakin. The Jedi. Then my Jedi protector will have to prove. I run up his storm is bad. A small Anakin frown. Obi Wan pulls himself aside. Anakin, you stay put on the boot. Don't attract any attention. And absolutely nothing. Without checking in me or the council. Yes, Master. To pet me. I will get. <clears throat> To the bottom of this plot quickly, my lady. You'll be the one back in here in no time. I will be most grateful for your speed. Eh, Master Jedi. Time to go. I know. Everybody gives Darwin one last hug. <clears throat> Man, I can fix those ledges. And two peasants exit the speeder bus where Erd 2 is waiting for them. May the force be with you. May the force be with you, Master. They head off toward the giant surfer. Suddenly, I am afraid. I am kind of scared too. This is my first assignment on my own. There's nothing to worry about. We have our two with us. Two to laugh. I'll be one again, sir. If you watch, and I can have me disappear in the just faithful with that too. Turn along behind them. I hope he doesn't try to do anything foolish. I'd be more concerned about her doing something than him. Next we find our docks, Coruscant Day. The freighter slowly takes off from the huge docks area of Coruscant. It soon moves into crowded skies. In Sarge Temple's main hall, a late day from high above, strange and lofty challenges. Obi Wan crosses the floor of the great hallway, heading for the analysis room. And in the Jedi Temple, analysis late day, Obi Wan walks past several closets where the work he is going. He comes to an empty and one and sits down in front of the console. A peek over analysis is right. Life, a tray, says at the council. Place the object for analysis. In the sense of tray, Obi Wan puts the dart onto the tray, so we next the console. Droid activates the system and the screen in front of Obi Wan. Ah. Oh. It's a toxic dark. I need to know where it came from, who made it. One moment, please. Diagrams and uh, appear on the screen. Scrolling parts, the great speed. Obi Wan watches the great. Uh, the very dangerous. I thought. 
ending line. As you can see on your screen, subject weapons does not exist in any culture. Markings can identify prohibited self-made warrior not associated with any society. Excuse me, could you try again, please? Master Jedi, our records are very thorough. Thorough, they cover eight. Percent again, actually, if I can't tell the right game, but nobody can. Obi Wan picks the dark and looks the droid. Thank you for assisting. You may not be heard this, but someone who might. What are we doing? No, why? Why am I reading this? Exit Space Starship, the massive slowdown. Fighter suddenly zooms into a light speed interstate. Oh, day, the great gloomy hole, the crowd in ingrates, and there belongs one to R2 is coming the head of the line. There is Our Lady of the Mush, R2 holds two bows. Keep moving, keep moving. R2 slips into a tube of mush and sucks. A large quantity with one of his little cars. He grows several chunks of something that <clears throat> look like brown bread. A server sees him continuing. Hey, no droids. Our dude takes one last big suck and his head for the food when the server shots and turning the little droid goes past the group of eating and sleeping immigrants and come where I can as soon as asleep the young Jedi sees this and no and no mum and no yes wedding Padme where am I he is sweating. Padme leans over to wipe some of that blood from his forehead. He likes his three eyes where he is. Padme simply looks at him. He stares back, somewhat confused. Art to fills up two bowls with mush. Anakin says, What? Seems to be having a nightmare. And it comes up Padme a little more closely, trying to see if he has really any of his secrets. He hands him a bowl of blush and bread. Are you hungry? Uh, thank you. I went into light speed a while ago, and it came looks into Padme's eyes. I look forward to seeing Naboo again. I thought it was a stuff. It's by far the most beautiful plan I've ever seen. Padme is a little uneven and intense star. You are just a little boy, Liam. It may not, as you remember, time changes your perception. I think time has given me much maturity and influenced my production. It must be difficult having sworn and not being able to. Oh, please, you. You're just like, like, or be with the people I love. Uh, are you allowed to love? I thought it was forbidden for Jedi. Attachment is forbidden, possession is forbidden. Composition, which I define as unconditional love, is central to a Jedi's life. So you might see or encourage the love. You have changed so much. You haven't changed a bit. You're exactly the same ever in my dreams. I doubt if Nabu has changed much either. It hasn't. I can't wait to breathe some sweet breeze. Come on, some rolling hills. Whenever I try to visualize the forest, those hills are what I see. 
Padme looks at Anakin looks at Padme when he says this. I love Naboo. This is there's an awkward moment. Yeah, changing the subject. You were dreaming about your mother earlier, weren't you? Yes, I left Hetalin so long ago and I remember I was feeling. I don't want to lose on it recently, I've been seeing. Where are my dreams vivid dreams? Scary dreams. I worry about her. And it gives Anakin a sympathetic look. <clears throat> Exit scene downtown Back Street in the morning. Everyone walks out of the back street. It's pretty tough. It's not all going to our house and we are. And sports rings occasionally shiny freighter. Hissing through, Obi Wan comes to the alien donor on steamed up window. It says Dex Diner in alien layers. He goes inside and Jericho's on Dex Diner morning. A young waitress, Herba Bagada, is whipping off a tabletop there in the counter with. Stools and lines, the wall by the window. A number of customers are eating, though so looking like earth. But drivers, I can hear I looks up as Obi Wan comes in. Can I help ya? I'm looking for Dexter. Here I there. What do you want for him? He's not in trouble. It's Personal. Hermione stares at Obi Wan. There is a brief pause, and she goes to open the serving hatch behind the counter. Billows out of the kitchen, the hatch behind the counter as head. Pokes through. Obi Wan? Hey, Dex. Take a seat. Be right with ya. Obi Wan sits in a booth. You want a cup of a dress? No, thank you. Uh, Harmony moves off as the door is open. Dex appears. He is a big, ball, sweaty, and old alien, not someone telling what he arrives. There. Hey, old buddy. Hey, Dex. Dex raises himself into the seat as if he can just make a hero and set to along the steamer on the dress above the Oh, my friend, what can I do for you? Can you can tell me what this is? Obi Wan places a dart on the table. Dex is open. Oh, what do you know? Dex picks the dart directly between. His puffy fingers and pierce it. Continuing. I ain't seen one of those since I was proposing a sub-altar room. Do you know where it came from? Dexter grins. He points out his nerve between them. This baby belongs to them. Cloners. What you is coming out of your... Oh, coming out of I wonder why I asked this job in my head. Uh, it's, it's funny, a little cut. Sorry to give away those innocent droids. You brought over a probably symbolizing. You know, I should think you Jedi would have more respect for them, for the difference you have knowledge and wisdom. All well, that. Droids couldn't think we wouldn't be here. Laughs. Camino doesn't sound familiar. The for the Republic? No, it's beyond an outer room. I'd say 12 prices. Parsis. Outside the range. Maze towards the south. It may be easy to find for those droids in your archive. To find those Camonians. Keep them in uh, the corners. Damn good ones to Obi-Wan picks up the door. Cloners, are they friendly? Depends on what Dex Dexter grins. Oh, how your mouths are. 
and how big your pocketbook is. Next is, oh uh, boy, Naboo Space Racer, Starfighter lands in a giant poor city of feet. Padme and Ken are two immigrants. The Starfighter and into a vast locking area they are. They exit on the main plaza. This is a afternoon. The speeder pulls. The speeder bus pulls up and stops. Padme and Ken are two get out. I call you and stretches out for them when they see for a score dome out of the plaza. The far side are two whistles. They pick their gear, start to cross the court, or are two turns behind them. If I grow up here, I don't think I'd ever leave. Pardon me. Laughing. And I'll buy it. No, really. When I started my training, I was very homesick and lonely. This city and my mom were the only pleasant things I had to think about. The problem was, the more I thought about my mom, the worse I felt. But I felt better if I thought about this place the way shimmers in the sunlight. The way the air smells of flowers and the soft sound of the distance by world. The first time I saw the capital, as we were young, I never see a waterfall before. I thought they were so beautiful. I never dreamed one day of living in a palace. Well, tell me, did you dream of the politics when you were a little girl? Ugh. You know, that was the last thing I thought of my dreams of help in the refuge. But I never thought of running for elected office, but the more history I studied, the more I realized that what politicians could do. So when I was eight, I joined the apprentice. <clears throat> I figured later on, a senator's advisor with the passion that before I knew it, I was elected queen, partly because I scored so high on my education certificate. But for the most part, I was convinced, uh, con convinced that reform was possible. I wasn't the youngest queen ever elected, but now that I think back on it, I'm sure I wasn't old enough. I'm sure, I'm not, not sure I was ready. The people you served thought you were a good job. They heard they tried to amend the rights of the Constitution. You could stay in office. Popular rule is not in the democracy, and it, it gives the people what they want, not what they need. And truthfully, I was relieved when my two turns were up, so my parents, they worried about me during the blockade. I couldn't wait for it all to be over. Actually, I was hoping that my family right now, my sisters, have the most amazing wonderful kids, but when the queen asked to serve as a senator, I couldn't refuse her. I agree. My public needs you. I'm glad you choose to serve. I feel things are going to happen in our generation. That uh, will change the galaxy in profound ways. I think so too. Redme and Andrew Walker tell us our two continues to fall. And here the Andrew Palace throne afternoon. Queen of John is here in the throne flankly. And a couple of officers, four hands men, close to stand by, and the guards are at the doors. Um, we've been worried about you. It takes her hand. I'm so glad you're safe, Padme. Thank you for, thank you, your highness. I only wish I could serve you. And it's just staying on chorus for the vote. Given the circumstance, Senator, you know it was only a decision her highness could have made. How many systems have joined Count Dooku and the Separatists? About 200 more are leaving the Republic every day. It just sent votes to create an army. I'm sure it's going to push us into a civil war. It's unthinkable there hasn't been a full-scale war since the formation of the Republic. Do you see any way for the negotiations to bring these Separatists back into the Republic? 
Not if they feel threatened. The separatists don't have an army, but if they are provoking, they will move to defend themselves. I'm sure that in no time to build an army, my genius, my guess is that they will turn to the Kamar guys, the Trade Federation, for help. The armies of Kamar, so why has been doing nothing? Uh, and restrained time, I'm afraid. Despite the Chancellor's best efforts, there are still aristocrats, um, judges, and even senators on the payroll of the gods. It's outrageous after all these hearings and the four trials in the Supreme Court. Newt is your victorious favorite of the Trade Federation. Do those money managers control everything? Remember, Counselor, the court were able to reduce the Federation armies. That's a move into the highest. Uh, direction. There are rumors that your highness that the Federation army was not reduced as they were ordered. The Jedi have not allowed to investigate. It would be too dangerous for the e economy. We were told we must keep our faith in the Republic. Uh, the day we stop believing democracy will work, we will lose. Let's pray that the day never comes. In the meantime, let's consider your safety. See you there, the eagles. The other adversaries are men and battle with the room. What is your suggestion, Master Jedi? Anakin's not a Jedi yet. Counselor, he's still a Padawan. Where is it? I was thinking. Ness kneeled. Hey, hold on a minute. Excuse me, I was thinking I would stay in the lake country. There are some places up there. I say, excuse me, I'm in charge of security here, my lady. See you, Bibble and Queen Jama Dama. <laughs> Exchange a look. Something is going on here. Annie is my life. It is a risk. This is my home now, and I think it would be very wise for you to take advantage of my knowledge. In this instance, Anakin takes a deep breath. Sorry, my lady. To Anakin, amused. She is right. The Lake Country is the most remote part of Naboo. Not for many people, the clear view um surrounding terrain it's perfect it's a settled then anakin glares at padma the queen jamadama gets up as they all start to leave Con continued padme i had your audience with your father yesterday i told him what's happening he hopes that you will visit the mother before you leave your family is very worried about you padme looks worried as they all exit down the main staircase exit the temple uh the main entrance of the base. It was huge and bustling. It was activity of the Jedi coming in. They are cries. Library. He bronze both the cons. He was like, for the bus, the Jedi Council will be a one intense of studying this. It's the chill face on the walls. Lightning computer panel seems to stretch into infinity. Father along. In the background of five today. The table studying archive media. After everyone studies the bust. For a few months before Mad May John Scott knew the Jedi Archives is standing next to him and she is an elderly, fairly hooking human Jedi, though as old boots as smart as a whip. Okay. Did you call for assistance? Mr. Archer didn't thought. Yes, yes I did. He has a powerful face. Doesn't he? He was one of the most brilliant Jedi I've ever said the heroes tonight. I've never understood why he quit. Only 20 Jedi have ever left the order. The last 20 on, in Count Dudu was the most recent and the most painful. No one likes to talk about it. In his leaving his ear, what happened? Well, one might say he always. A bit of the decisions of the council, much like your old master Qui Gon Jinn. Surprised, really? Oh yes, there were like uh, individual thinkers. John Scott knew there is at the bust continuing. He was striving to become a more powerful Jedi. He wanted to be the best with a lightsaber and the old fencing. He had no match. Given knowledge, the Force was going to make in the end. I think. He left because we all spoke in the Republic. He believed the politics were corrupt, and he felt the Jedi betrayed himself serving the politicians. He always had very high expectations of the government. He had never disappointed nine or ten years. 
And he just showed up recently at the head of the separatist movement. Interesting, I'm still not understanding. Well, I'm sure you didn't call me over here for a history lesson. Are you having a problem, Master? Kenobi? Yes, I'm trying to find a planet called Kenobi. It doesn't seem to show up on any of these archive charts. Let me know. That's not in our system. Familiar with it, let me see. So they're looking at the hearing. Are you sure you have the right coordinates? According to my information, it should be in this quadrant somewhere here, just south of the Rishid Maze. Squad and you taps the keyboard in the front. No coordinates, it sounds like direction. If I'm off to a small miner or fur bug trader. All three, actually. Are you sure? Exist? Absolutely. Let me do the gravitational scan. I'll be one. Just good news. That scour hologram. There are some inconsistencies here. Maybe the planet you're looking for has been destroyed. Wouldn't that be recorded? It had to be, unless it was very reason. Shakes her head. I hate to say it, but looks like your system. You start researching for. Hmm, doesn't exist. That's impossible. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. The archives are comprehensive and totally secure, my young Jedi. One thing you may absolutely sure of is if the item appears in the records and exists, if you want to see then let's the map. It's at Theed. In an area tree afternoon, people are pressing in the little street. Old men are sending them in. This one thing is being he's overlaying. And I can pay my return. Number two are onto the street. Anakin in the back of the drive, which is Padme wearing a beautiful, simple dress. She stops me. That's my house. I thought that said that's my horse. Um, Padme starts forward. Anakin hangs back. Pa continue. What don't you say? You're shy. Untruthfully. But I. No, but I. Certainly. There are shots of little girls, royal age six, and her age six. They can't touch me. And Padme, it's Padme. Ruji, Ruja, Padme scoops Ru and Rupja and hugs him. Continuing. I am so happy to see you. This is Anakin. Anakin, this is Ru, and this is Pooja. Anakin, the girls are so them. Then, Artu, they see it in the hunting with us and beats Padme Lass, Padme and Anakin, Anakin and Padme, those the girls say, I'm too into the past. Here it sounds, afternoon, so our Padme's in the room, our sister comes in the canteen, she's got to get some food. Over a schedule. They're reading over a jam and everything for mom. They just had a snack. They'll be fine. Solo pulls a bowl on the table where Anakin and I hurry. And his father coming to the rescue and eating food. Anakin, this is my sister Sola. Hello, Anakin. Hello, Sola. And the German Arab Padme's mother comes in with a heap of bowl of steaming food. You're just in time for dinner. I hope you're hungry, Anakin. <laughs> a little. He's being polite. Mom, now we're starving. Grinding. You came to the right place at the right time. Sit down, son. Sits down and starts pressing the food. Honey, it's so good to see you. Say if we were worried, Hyman gives the right there a look, Ron Bay smiles and watches. Dear, I know, I know. But I had to say it. It's done now. Well, this is so exciting. Do you know Anakin? You're the first boyfriend my sister's ever brought home. Rolls her eyes so late. He isn't my boyfriend, he's a dead eye so I'm a sin to protect me. Oh bodyguard? Oh Padme, they didn't. Tell us they didn't tell us it was that serious. It's not, Mom, I promise. That's just a jumble. Anyway, in any case, my friend, I don't know if you guys remember that little boy who was with me in the Jedi. They nod. He grew up. Honey. 
When you just going to settle down, I'm a serious wife, I see it, and I have mom, I'm not in any danger to run it. Is she? Yes, I am afraid. Quickly. But much extra is going from there. Okay. Sometimes I wish I could travel more, but I say I'm happy here. Padme tells me to teach at the university. I think. Yes, they are. And further, I was a builder, and I also retired every five moment when I was very young. And Padme's parents has main room after and Padme's in the people. Why haven't you told us about him? What's there to talk about? He's just a boy. A boy? Have you seen the way he looks at you? So they stop it. Right? It's obvious that he's feeling for you. Are you saying? The baby sister that you have noticed. I'm not your baby sister, so yeah. And the kid and I are friends. Our relationship is truly professional. To trouble. Mom, would you tell her to stop it? Ha ha ha, laughing. Well, maybe. You know, she been looking at you. I don't think you should freak her right out, so I was concerned. Y'all, oh mom, you're impossible. What are you doing? These horns, you're doing service, Padme. It's about to happen in your life. You're on your own, you're so much, Padme. Parents' garden, Anakin and Maria are walking into the garden. Maria stops and faces Anakin directly. Now tell me, son, how serious is this thing? How much danger is my daughter really in? There have only been a few attempt, two attempts on her life. Chances are there 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 will be more. My master is tracking down the assassins and I'm sure I'll find where they are. The situation won't last long. I don't want anything to happen to her. I don't either. Pat me in her house. Afternoon, I my house in the back. Don't worry. This won't take so long. I just want to get there for dark. Padme goes on. Uh, talking in the room. Can you, you still live at home? I move around so much. I never. I put some money on official residency. I have no warrants. I feel like I go here. I feel like I don't know. I never had a real home. Home was always my mom was. And it can fix up a frame hologram. Is that you? And the hologram shows Pat made age seven or eight, surrounded by forty or fifty little green creatures. Holding in their arms, they are all smiling hugely. That was when I went to relief group in the shadow by son. Their son was Oh, their son was employed in, um, I thought it was son, was in, whatever. And their planet was dying. I was helping to recollect the children to see that the little one I was holding, his name was Nakawu, which means sweet hair. He was so full of life, all his kids were, I did my everything to say that he died, they all did. They were never able to adapt to their native plant. Anakin picks up on hologram shells. Anime at age 10 or 11, she's wearing official robes and standing between two rose lizards. Her expression is severe. And continuing, the first day as an apprentice, let us her knows there is a difference. Anime pulls a face. And I can grin, she's really packing in, and you can set the two hugging, so I say, beaming the little girl and the stern, unsmiling at her lens. Uh, uh, <coughs> Jedi Temple Main Hallway Day. We won, walk through the main hallway, the training areas, and uh, Jedi Temple Fair Day. Obi Wan, uh, 20 years old, 4 year old.
doing training exercises supervised by Yuta. They wear helmets over their eyes. You start the little train droid with their mesh lightsabers. The droids dance in front of them. Don't think, feel, be as one with the force. You help, help you. It will. He sees Obi Wan. <laughs> Younglings enough. A visitor we have. Welcome him. The other helmets and her other letters continuing. Yes. 9.30. Master Obi-Wan meant the Bear Clan. Welcome, Master Obi-Wan. I'm sorry, Sister Remaster. What help to you can I be? I'm looking for a planet. Describe to an old friend. I trust him, but the system doesn't show on the archive map. An interesting puzzle gather around the map reader, young wings. Master Obi Wan has a lost planet to find. They will try. The map reader is a small set of hologram opening the top of children. Gather around it. Obi Wan takes the little glass ball and places it into the bowl. The window shadows close, darkening the room, and the reader lights up, projecting the star and the hologram. And the children laugh. Some of them reach into the Obi Wan looks into the display. This is where it ought to be. But isn't it? Gravity is pulling on the stars. This is the area in where the spot there should be a star system here. What is in there? Yeah, the most interesting gravity is it. She's all cold remains, but the star and all planets have it disappeared. How can this be? There is a brief pause as a child. The <laughs> good not. <laughs> because some are race and everything everywhere. That's right, yes. That's what happens when someone erases. If the planet blew up the gravity blew away, all the one upstairs. Yeah, that chuckles. Truly on their fault, the mind of a young child is uncluttered to the center of whole gravity go. And your and find your plan, you will, for Master Yoda. Do you have erased the information from the archives? That's impossible, isn't it? Sorry. I'm going to try to answer the question is. Oh I think we're like halfway through this at this point. Jeez. Uh, Nabu, Lake Retreat, Water Speeder, main platform, late afternoon, a water speeder driven by Patty Akaju. The retreat taker skims across the lake away from the island landing platform where a chrome Nabu, Sniper Size, and a camp had been are sitting in the speeder as the sky runs away, where a launch rides into a beautiful island in the middle of the lake. Nabu. Like retreat, large garden. Material to have for noon, and came past me while we did the stairs with the wires we were found. On the lovely garden behind them, Patty Akers. This is the girls, Natty, and blah blah. As they carry out the bags into the lodge, Anna came and Padme. At the burst, Padme looks out across the garden, shimmering the lake, the mountains rising. Anakin looks at me when I was in level 3. We used to come here for a school retreat. See that island? We used to swim there every day. I love the water. I do too. I guess it comes from going up on another planet. Anakin's aware that Anakin is looking here. We used to lie in the sand. Let the, let the sun dry us. And <clears throat> try to guess the names of the birds singing. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough. Irritating, and it gets everywhere. Not like here. Here, some things are soft, smooth. He touches her arm. Padme has become the recipient to the way he looks at her, but very nervous. There was a very old man who lived in the island. He used to make glass out of sand and vases and necklaces of glass. A magical. Looks into her eyes. Everything here is magical. You could look into the glass and see the water. 
A way of ripples and moves, and looks so real, but wasn't it? Sometimes when you believe something to be real, it becomes real, real enough anyway. Look into each other's eyes, this is their chin. I used to think if you looked into someone's new glass, you wouldn't lose yourself. I think it's true. Anna can kisses Padme. She doesn't resist. She comes to her senses and pulls away. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry when I was around you. My mind is no longer mine. Your situation is stretch. He looks at her. The view. As a course on land problem, late afternoon, all we want is straight forward to take off and makes windy with the inside. The very distance is in the forest the sea is very stronger. I'm a trip from my pattern one. He is not ready to be on his own. The council is confident in the decision. Obi Wan He has an exceptional skill. The council is confident in his decision. Obi Wan, if the prophecy is true, he will uh, be the one to bring balance to the force, but he has still much to learn, and his abilities have made him well arrogant. I realize now what you have done, young master. From what the beginning, the boy was too old to start the training, and we won't hesitate. So there's something else, Master Obi Wan. Should not have been given this time. I'm afraid Anakin would be too. Older. Why he has a emotional connection with her. He's been since he was a boy. Now he's confused, distracted. Obi Wan, you must have faith in us that he was on the right path. Obi Wan causes the cockpit to stray further. He has mastered you again in any sight. And to the whether or not this war will come about, protecting the dark side is a dangerous process. He could be in slices for days. May the force be with you. Ugh. Dear Temple, you always come over to the afternoon. You always sit his eyes closed, menting his hands. Nabu, only land in the news. The sun setting, my opinion, the legs going on, and the floating. The energy is long. Nabu, luxury dining room. I was listening from the family. I was seeing many in the search. I bet me it was a fork and she was lying. She frowns her eyes again. For a move, she looked up. Anakin, his eyes were on the plate. Padme. You do that, Anakin looks up over there and says, like, What? Padme scrolls on him. Padme jabs at the food. Anakin suddenly moves his hand and lifts up in the plant, hovers in front of her. Now, that. Stop it. Padme laughs. Anakin laughs. She reaches out of the fruit loops, continuing Anakin. Anakin moves his fingers to the fruit flies in her hand and is not really supposed to do that, that for fun. I mean, if Master Obi Wan was here, he'd be very grumpy. Anakin is. Please, he cuts the fur into several pieces. He says, I'm going to find my sheep. It's in the last. Now, Bill Lake, the lodge, and he's in the toilet, a blaze fire. And he's in the sitting in front of him, blazing the flames. She lets up Anakin. She makes room for him, but she lost. You may tell something, I don't know. Then, how can I tell you? Maybe you should. Maybe you should be a Jedi institution. It doesn't work around you. My mind is always in the middle. I can only think of you, and I can don't. From the moment I met you all those years ago, a day hasn't gone by reference to of you, and now I'm close to you. I'm agony. The closer I get, the worse it gets. The thought of not being with you makes my uh, my stomach turn over. My mouth goes dry. I feel dizzy. I can't breathe. I'm haunted by the kiss. You should never have given me. My heart is beating, hoping that we can kiss and be in the sky. You will be in my very soul, tormenting me. Uh, what can I do now? I will do anything for you. Silence the law that's in the heart. Uh, I feel suffering as much as I can. Uh, I can't, so we can't do this. First of all, anything's possible. Padme, please listen. You can listen. We live in a real world. Come back to it. You're studying to become a Jedi Knight. I'm a senator. If you follow your thoughts on inclusion, they will make us take it to a place where we cannot go regardless of the way we feel about each other. Then you'll feel something. There was an extraordinary connection between us. You can't deny any aids. He doesn't make any difference. Instead, I are allowed to marry. He swore to another member. He be expelled from the order. I will not let you give up your responsibilities or your future for me. I was designed to be a Jedi. I didn't think I could do anything else, but you were asking me for uh, that is something no, I cannot do. I wish I could. Make my feelings away, but I can't. I am not going to give up this. I am going to go through my life anyway. I have more important things that I can do than fall out of their sounds. They stare into the fire and I can just thinking, and uh, I wish I could. 
Jose. If we could keep it a secret, then we'd be living a lie. No one could even be one. The Miss Mount sister saw it. Uh, so did <coughs> my mother. I couldn't do that. Could you, Anakin? So thanks for a moment. No, you're right. I would destroy it. Existing space. It says a uh, star. So I follow the impulse of storm. I'm planning to come in, which is everything I'm in. All we want is to charge it. Like Cameron. Uh, who's the plan? It was the top of the city. Cameron is on its own rainy day. Very rains. And hard driving winds. <laughs> All we want to start ship is the hue of modern days. So yeah, it was a great city and the pounding in other ways that cover the surface in this watery world. Star for lands, Obi Wan. Yeah, the races we have fallen touch with the tower and its far side. The platform, a door side is open, a shaft of the brilliant trees and the green. One passes and goes inside. And then the grass city, our entrance, the brilliant light goes off, all the others. Nice. Look at those arrows. See, there's some Obi Wan walks, wipes his face in the rain, and blinks the surprise, and it's all sort of in the intact. We. In the very large one here, yeah, everything is ready. The Prime Minister is expecting you, Warley. I'm yeah, expected. Of course, he is anxious to see you after all these years. You're being, I think you are in a place, and so we'll be on makes his way. He has a rule on the corridor, or we want to follow us. And constantly in your city, office. Hey, the door side is open, all we want is how to enter. And we're slowly rising, smiling from the door. I think that's what it's all of this, we can you know. Seems made out of fear light. Our may have friends in this environment. That's our cameo, and this is Master Jedi. Obi Wan can wait, please. Let us do in case a chair. Obi Wan sits. However, the room is where we light the whole place. It's all Jack. I trust you are going to enjoy your stay. We are the most happy people in our lives in this season. You make me feel like the most welcome, and now. It was as you will be going to the light here. We are on the schedule two hundred thousand years already with another million out of the way. Improving that is good news. Please let us and Master seduce us uh, that we may confirm his order that will be made on time and full. He is well, I hope. I'm sorry, Master Jedi and Master Zafert. He's still leading the member of the like, Jedi Council, is he not? Oh yes, Sidious. Whereas you must be anxious to see you for yourself, that's why I'm here. I did not boo. They were afternoon, bad me. And the digital hill meadow it is a oh my gosh. Oh well this is the smart sharks. Days in the beyond is shining or like several other lakes searching your hearts in the horror into your lower jungles. You sit on the grass in a playful cold and we're talking in I don't know. I do. You just don't want uh, to tell me. Are you going to use one of your Jedi mind tricks on me? There is only one that is weak. You are anything but weak minded. All right. His name is Paulo. I was 12. We were both born. And let's say you more. He's a few years old. Uh, very cute, dark hair, dreamy eyes. All right, all right. I get the picture. What do I have now? I went to the queen, he wanted to become an artist. Maybe he was a smart one. I really don't like what I to see you. I like three or two, but I'm not really sure about one of them. Smiling, I don't think the system works. Whew. How would you think it works when you have a system where the politicians sit down and discuss the problems, agree, the best instance of the people, and then do it? That's exactly what we do. The trouble is, we don't always. Agree. In fact, they hardly ever do. And then they should be made to by whom? Who was hitting them? I don't know. Someone. You? Of course not me. Pad. Uh, but someone. Why? Someone was. That's the sound of an awful lot of dictionary to me. And she was looking a little gray and she said, I the race. Well. If it works, bad my and then it looks very hard. Straight face and kind of whole smile, you're making fun of me. Sarcastic, oh no, I just see for you, it's in there. It's so bad, Padme picks up the fruit and throws it at him and he catches it. 
I may throw in the pieces of fruit and I can catch them. You're always so serious, always. Hearing out of the way, universe and your soldiers. Anakin then, oh my gosh. Anakin then starts the jungle. The fruit and Padme has more. He manages the jungle and the earth. The many who is control and the ducks lie in the fruitful of head and will fly. Anakin stands in the, the shake. Yelling at it in his arms, Padme starts laughing as Anakin runs in circles, shakes by a shake. The shake crosses in the Padme is riding on it in the face, shakes his tail. The shake's working and Anakin falls off. Padme laughs even harder. Anakin lies still. Padme jumps, yup, and runs where Anakin is face down in the grass. She turns over him. He is falling a stupid face at her. She yelps in mock and fury and takes a swing at him. He catches her in her arms. She struggles. They roll over into the grass. Suddenly, they catch the movie. Contrast over and they let go of each other. Look at these and down on each other. And I can stand up, holds in her hand. She takes and pulls her up. And now they're everything together. Not so conscious anymore. Padme scrambles onto the shack. And I can she pulls. Mm hmm. Around the waist and leans against his back. I bet she digs in the shank, sends her in the whirling. There's a city, the storm will be one less two. I'm in the balcony, I'm in the mountains of storm troopers. Uh, the rains of the thousands of storm troopers, they face the ones are marching, drilling into several hundred. Dang. Beaming as if it's in the day, I'll be one as early. Lamb of can I be one in large area falls as they walk hundreds of clones as they look alike. Eh, Bill, about 20 years older, some black hair. Mm -hmm. My fire is next to me, then was independent original host. As a result, it's totally obsolete. You know, uh, the question who was the original host? A bounty hunter called Jingle Fett, who. We follow Jedi, and we quickly try to say, City as Han, Han picked Jango Fett himself. Where's the bounty hunter now? Oh, we keep him here after a few hundred. You know, his fire starts to fade, so. We got fresh supply. He leaves here, but do come and go, visits. Ugh. Targus AJ, so it continues to uh, uh, transport to his own clone to climbing. This is the two the clones going to sleep apart from his pay, which no fight demand. Only one thing, like a clone for him, curious, isn't it? Here, uh, genetic revelation, no tampering with structure, no to more dialect, and no growth acceleration. I would like to meet this Django Fett. I would like to arrange for you. We can go to the least. We go to the classroom day. The tour continues in the classroom. If you want to be in the world. So the ghost of salvation. Oh, yes. Is essential. Otherwise, a mature clone. They go a lifetime to grow. Now we can do it in half. Mine's also. I am. That's where we grow. We can go. Sidious. First plan of the order, and they are matured. Obi Wan looks at the boy clone, and these five years ago, and they're gonna say the day. They fell through the spears and were filled with foods, and the embryos are suspended. They are really superior to the droids. Careful in the situations, very impressive. I hope you'll be pleased. Obi Wan gets the new embryo carefully. I'm very willing to see us and try to view and learn himself, uh, himself. Of course, this is not public, astonished or public. We are very much against the council of the Senate. It says, movement. We are proud to be a part of the public. In terror, it starts to elevate the other ones who listen to the room. I have arranged for you to meet Jingle Fred in the morning, sleep while the hunter goes to the <coughs> Light slows in every home, but we want looks around. And this is finally satisfied. 
He takes out comic R4, R4. And it says, when you find your sort of late day, R4, D's. Never been Obi Wan's last try. You're right. He's sitting on top of Obi Wan's starfighter, which is on the beeps. No, we want to kind of like R4. Yeah. It's a scramble code for the course on the taking radio folks home. And they landed a fire, rainstorm, late day. R4 beeps and whistles the panels. Light up inside a cockpit as the message is transferred. Exits in the temple, lifting Carter's early evening Yoda and Mace Windu listen to the holograms. If we want between the them, the chasing signal is very weak, the image fades out. I've never seen her, uh, I've never heard of a Jedi called Sidious. Maybe you have your master, you know, whoever has an order was not a Jedi, I'm gonna show you. I have a strong feeling that this. Is a bo- is bounty hunter is the assassination we're looking for? Who is he working for? We discover that you must. I will, master, and I will also find out. Oh my god, this clever right here. Yeah. The hologram switches off. Obi we'll Wan fades away. A clone army? Maybe someone in the Senate's president's the Lord. Inform the Chancellor. But this we must. Do you think the imposter Sidious could be? Get a stairs at least when I do. When I saw the energy set in the night, it was a flash of a moon, and I heard the quiet coil. And then the water, and then the blue lake retreat. Anakin's bedroom, night, Anakin and Sibley. Motion is so slut. I only cries out. No, 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 mom, no, no, don't. Like the tree lodge, balcony over and guarding to nothing, and it can. The balcony guards up that moment. Enemy comes on the balcony behind him, hitting. Eyes closed, don't go, I don't want to disturb you, your presence is nothing brief, Foz, you had a night. Again, last night, Jedi don't have nightmares, I heard you, Anakin's eyes open in her eyes. I saw my mother, I saw her as clear as you can see now. She's suffering, Padme. She is in pain. They're killing her. I know my disobedient man is to protect you, Senator. I know I will be punished and possibly thrown out of the Jedi Order, but I must go. I have to help her, so I'm sorry, Padme. I don't have the choice. Annie, I told you I wouldn't let this give up your future for me. I'll go with you the way you never protect them, and you won't disobey your mandate. What? <coughs> About... Master. Obi Wan, pat my smile, takes out her hand, I guess. We won't tell him then, will we? I just remember the day. I may not step in the landing water. Speeder, they enter the Nabu at their deal boots and follows them. I heard the drive into the water. She ran in again, started to drift off the large city. When they close the way, breaking the most high of the platforms we take. Until Obi Wan and the jingle for the apartment on with we waves. His hands are little rings as they wait. Obi Wan's and out the door. And the door opens. A ten year old boy, well fed, looks at him. He is in the middle of the classroom. Boba is, this, is your father here? There's a brief puzzle of it. And you see him? Sure. Another brief pause of Boba Fett steps aside. Haunting me as we go away of Obi Wan. Every day, Obi Wan is haunting him, Boba Fett in the apartment. Obi Wan looks around the room. Dad taunts we hear. Jango Fett comes out of the room. This is on the third. Everyone mean looking. His face is inside the old wounds. There are a couple of tattoos and good farms. My eyes are always suspicious. Welcome back, Jango. Yours. We present to fairly Obi Wan. Jango Fett studies each other. Boba Fett studies both of them. This is the Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi. He is determined to check on our purpose. That's right. Jango Fett's eyes open cold, coldly. Your clones are very impressive and very proud. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe, Master Jedi. 
Why are we still all? Obi Wan, uh, when they're in their dead, uh, Reese's a boy, and Jingle Fred registers Obi Wan. Look, he moves into the. As I read, I've been to twice recently, possibly. And then you must have a master serious. Obo comes to the door. Obo comes to the door. Jango first smiles. And Obi Wan, the disaster who is our serious Jedi who hired you for his job, never heard of him. I was really hurt by a man called Darth. Alright, one of the men's. Bogan in. No, I thought Darth Sidious told us to expect him. As he showed up, we were Jedi Master. He will, we have the Jedi's involvement in a secret arrival. Just. He was uh, curious to you like he or me. It seems to be your army, being that they are clones as uh, you. Grinning, they're all. Mm, I guarantee that. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you in there. Thank you for your time, Django. <coughs> oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I hope I'm going to do something, Django, but I sound like a that space, Naboo. It's a Tatooine, it's a Tatooine, it's a Tatooine, and that was spaceship, but it was a large parking. You can go out of the spaces, and I can pet me. <laughs> Wait, please, Anakin. In fact, I get down this thing, I stole a fur in the shop. What I was saying, I'm feeling droid reports that I'm going. They see him as a meddler. Oh boy. Yelling in Marjorie's. No, no, that one, that one. Arriving. Excuse me, Wano. What? Excuse me. Wano's in the charts. Shut down. Pit droids snap into their own fashion. Fuse and Hunter's. What? I don't know you. What can I do for you? Yo, what did you do? That's right. Wano drops the same. Let me help you with that, and I can fix all of your stuff. Play with the water and everything. I'm looking for a shimmy Skywalker. Wow, looks like I'm having an Anakin. Any? Any? Nah! Suddenly, Phil, he's like, quit me. Any? Or. Any? You're Any. This is you. One for a while gives any a big hug. You sure uh, the wee boo a Jedi? I think mean, maybe. Some deadbeats. Hello, my mother. Oh, yeah, Shimmy, she's not mine anymore. I sold her. Sold her years ago. Sorry, Annie. You know, business business. I was like, I was running Lars. At least, I don't know. Where's that? Do you know where they are? Long way from here, it sounds like. Over on the other side of most of the thing. I'd like to know. Oh, Anakin's grandmother and sister's Wado, because it's a Hidley Wado, yeah, sure, absolutely. I mean, you meet Anakin Wado and yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Serious, I know what suddenly strange for the first of the moon and the nights. Any day. Obi Wan stands with Lama Su. Tell me, tell your console at first, but I'm sorry. And then my troops are hitting me, girl. Tower City landing platform rains from day. Obi Wan comes up from the tower, driving the rain. The door closes behind him. He pulls the rope. And the ceiling rains against the tower. Below, below, a huge wave crashes against the cell's face. Why that high? Looks across the platform. Obi Wan is standing. He will. After he loses every watch, he then turns and enters the door. Obi Wan enters the cautiously from the side. Head the corridor is deserted and he moves. Where's the only one? Where's the bedroom? 
Lens Assigned. Measure all. There's another gun. I'll be one. I'll try a thin computer. He punches out the on screen. I'll take off it and bullet fit. Mentioning lines security. Here's your landing the platform. Jing of it is wearing armor. Pack her bullet fit. Lines the board. Small fighter. He does have a city. Camera new. Moving storm. Jing of it. He says move. He's wearing a bullet fit. Jing of it. In another case. <laughs> when Dad Django Fett turns to see Obi Wan at the top of the tower, as he runs to the lightsaber from his belt, flashes on Django Fett, draws the gun for the fires. Obi Wan flexes on Django Fett. The bounty hunter looking to for Obi Wan, leaving him behind. The fires for the Django Fett fires. Obi Wan darts from his elbow launcher. Obi Wan flexes. Uh, Jango Fett is showing harmless against the veteran hunter's armor, and the cockpit of Jango Fett's ship, Bull Fett grabs the control of a laser gun and swings out uh, uh, Obi Wan outside. The cockpit, each time Bull Fett is under fire, Jango Fett blocks the outside. Obi Wan is in the text swinging at Jango Fett, who is a flex of low, one slices of his head. A bounty hunter's solar plate, Jango Fett rockets into the air, hovers. Obi Wan is there, spins the cockpit. Obi Wan flares outside, the laser shell streaks out past Obi Wan and strikes the edge of the tower. Jango Fett fires it down, Obi Wan needs the Jedi to flex the shots back for Jango Fett. Invades himself, then he swings back, swinging around Obi Wan as he shoots past. He kicks the lightsaber out of the Jedi's hand, but the lightsaber skips around the wet surface of a landing platform. Obi Wan dies. After a jingle fit zooms into the front of the hand and grabs a lightsaber, Obi Wan puts his other hand in the cockpit. There's a jingle fit outside Obi Wan and jingle fit grab and finding King grabbing each other in his throat. And jingle fit tightly, jingle fit rockles up into the air and kicks Obi Wan loose. Obi Wan crashes into the deck and slides towards the edge. He grabbles a desperate. Her hand hold on the second Jingo Fit rock goes down and Obi Wan haunts himself. Jingo Fit zooms in the airplane for him. Obi Wan uses his powers to power up. The structure loose hits Jingo Fit, who loses his power balance to everything on the edge. Obi Wan charges, extra dives, and grabs hold of Jingo Fit as the sea falls. Locked together, Obi Wan. Jingo Fit pulls into the raging the ocean. Now that's not a jingle fit. I raise the cable out of his backpack, shoots upward and locks on the surface. And then the platform, Obi Wan, jingle fit swings and crashes onto the lens. That's Obi Wan is not near when the dress is well. The form just a waist. He hauls himself to his feet. Jingle fit hovers in the midair, robs in the air. He gets away. Goes over Obi Wan. Here's jingle fit. Up to the landing platform where he drops down beside the ship, he chambers into the rocket propellers into the pilot seat. He finds his him and to north outside Jingle Fett's ship. Lifts off of the platform and he heads up into the lower sky and disappears. The landing flies his rain and loses the tower streams across the surface of the surface of the platform to where a hand suddenly closes up the very edge of the platform. Later, another hand grabs. <laughs> Called. Had to mean both for the and home to the late day. Nav of Starship descends, hovers, and both Anakin and Padme get out. They look for in the end of the stage in the bluffs of where to see the homestead of a, a desert floor. Stay with a ship or two. Our two whistles and Anakin and Padme start down the trail of the homestead. Exit Tantooine, desert homestead, and most ship on late day. C3BO is working on the homestead. He is still locked out, recovering his inner force. So, uh, he looks at the Anakin. Good evening, my head, but three people here. Oh my, oh my, mess, Anakin. My goodness, I hardly believe it. This is this is a fact. Hello, three people. I'm coming to my mother. Oh dear, trouble starting this. Sorry, three people. What's happened? I think we better get get inside. This is Tatooine. This is it. They Anakin and three people in the courtyard. Three people shuffles ahead. Master Lars, Queen Owen, somebody. He says, Lars and. Belarus came out into 
Sorry, and I'm gonna console. I'm looking for my mother. Oh, and Lars, I guess you're stepbrother. I shake hands. This is my girlfriend, Baru. Baru, hello, I'm Padme. I was a feeling you want to show up and Is my mother here? No, she's not. Claire Lars swings from the house. The small flowing chair, one of the legs. Heavily abandoned in the room, I think. His arm was out from her hands. I think Lars shimmy lives my wife. Coming out and the talk in Tatooine, in the middle of the day. Baru. Pulled several of in the kitchen. It was just before dawn. They came on the way, hunting sensory in such a way. Homestead late day. Clear Padma one. Padma. And I said, around to Baru. <laughs> Your mother had gone out early. She likes to always to pick up my shirt and she looked at my papers for the truck. She was halfway. Then she turns to the Tuscans. There was another the room in. Unless there's 30 of us went after her. Four of us came back. Three of us are still out there. Uh, looking. I'd be looking at it. Only I can just find my way in it. Claire raises his hand and he's in a sobbing throat. I'm like, this isn't easy. This isn't the way I wanted to meet you, son. This isn't how your mother and I plan. I don't believe that she's gone for a month. There is a little hope. Last time I long. Silence. Anakin stands up. Where are you going? To find my mother. No, yeah, she's dead. They said, I can feel her pain. I will listen to that. Anakin turns abruptly. That's what that mean. Where's your problem with that? Anakin stands. Little girls are there. Padme comes out of the homeland. And you're followed by Owen. Anakin turns to Padme. You are going to, as I say here, there are good people. Padme, you'll be safe. Take my flex for your Anakin. Padme hugs him. And I came also to Owen's wife, which is standing close by. I trust you'll watch over her, Owen. Don't worry. Anakin swings into the bike and answer for it. It won't be long. Anakin takes off into the crest together. Padme watches him go. Space genocide, the road planet. Circled by a large asteroid field that forms during Django Fed's fears, heading towards it. In a cockpit fit. Uh, Genesis. Jango Fett grins at Boba Fett, nearly there, son. Jango Fett grudge. It's just a dead look on the, uh, on the screen. You know, Ewan's ship appears, chasing after him. Jango Fett, Jurassic Patrols, they are thrown around. The ship plummets. Everyone says it. Hang on, the ship goes into the power climb. A great space star uh, ensues between Obi Wan and Jango Fett. Space, exit space, Genesis. The ship falls into the and soon is an incredible speed. The game waves of fire and towels. Near missiles hits off Obi Wan's fighter. When Jango Fett's missiles get through, finally it seems that Obi Wan is getting up her hand. Jango Fett breaks off. Over the human universe and two asteroids. Jango Fett's car for both that bunches of the asteroids pass right uh, Watch, Dad, watch out. Stay calm, son. We'll be fine. And that Jedi won't be able to fall asleep, but Obi Wan. And ships died in the asteroid bell for them, and it'll be one's cause, but he is skilled and pushes the limit through the ship from side to side, avoiding red rocks. Then the huge asteroid tumbles over its best. There is themes to be no way to avoid. Obi Wan fires a couple asteroids there first. They streak asteroids, and Jango Fizz comes after they see a huge explosion of one ship. Appears to be smashed in the air. Yeah, got him. Yeah, we won't be seeing him again. We'll feel the last thing if it's emerges from the asteroid and uh, it is down in the genocide. The Tatooine Desert Dog cancels that. Anakin is standing in the middle of our dogs in the asteroid darkness. That was actually a comparatively leading in Java. Anakin gets in the bike. He's off for decision. Anakin turns on the and Anakin rides over here. Doing in the distance, he rides into the sub. But in the group, there are dead bodies. There are three farmers lying beside the campfire. Two corpses are threatened nearby along the various stair. His head to wean, full landscape, night, three different shots. Anakin rides to the his side landscapes. In one shot, he stops, looks down on some tracks, then he starts to see a rise. It is Hedwig Desert. Full moon night. A list of various things like this. Somewhere close to the animals. It is Tween Homes. Red May is pacing out before her desert. She suckles into the animal. Falling nearby, she is several inside. Then she turns and goes into the garage. 
inside the courthouse. <sighs> and then it's had to be in garbage. You can follow the night. Fat man the sands looks so severe. And, and then. Please don't leave us, Miss Fatma. These people need your help. My PPO is parked in the corner. I'm not leaving 3 PO. I just can't sleep. As something I cannot relate to as a protocol right? I am either active or inactive. There's no in between. I guess you're lucky. Do you really think so? I suppose. I really shouldn't expect. You're not the oh, You're not the happy one here. Oh. I'm not unhappy, and my masters here are so kind, I wouldn't wish these terrible troubles on them. It's just being like this, well, that's embarrassing. Being what's naked, if you can follow my expression, you'll be a master anyway. You made me never quite got an energy out of time. It's so humiliating. Would you like to, if you had a uh, circus showing? Well, I guess I wouldn't know it be like that. Of course. Oh, uh, buddy, uh, would simply be a protocol. It looks. Mm-hmm. A pile of spare parts. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can do something about it. I don't think so. Only master any. Why not? They seem to box up old coverings here. Oh, observant of you, Miss Padme. Of course, I'm just not mechanically minded. If you see what I mean, Padme takes a piece of metal. Well, again, so let's see. If we put this here. Oh, I tickled. You'll see. You'll, you'll, you'll have to be quiet. Oh my gosh! Space genocide brings a huge chunk of resources. Mm, camera closes. Discover Obi Wan Starship has been hidden in a vast area cockpit. Hit rock. In over fire says genocide. Obi Wan looks at the genocide and sees a large. Fleet of trade generation ships hidden among the asteroids. He starts the engine of his fighter. Obi Wan's fighter moves out from the block side of the asteroid and heads away from the asteroid field, descending towards genocide. Genocide and there is a Obi Wan ship skim across the top of the small vessel along the edge of a rocky ridge. He maneuvers a rock around overhang or lands. He gets out of the fighter and walks into the mess of the wind whips at him. Looks around. Genocide is a pretty Red rock planet features us apart from the Buttis and Mesa and occasionally tall stalagmites. I stand out from the dragly on the journey here. Then I guess quite except for the original weird cry. Obi Wan checks his beer hanging his head, exit genocide. Rocks his trail night over one can't just sit near a trail, suddenly a cry is here close to my eye. Obi Wan stubbles his foot on the edge on a oh, pile of pebbles. Serving the darkness, Obi Wan listens to the sounds. He draws his legs here, but not in the like. <clears throat> he sets up again. I was waiting there, was really hard for us to see the, the sailor. The fangs, the beast leaps to him. Obi Wan and he lights the lightsaber as a massive blast onto him. It jaws open wide. Obi Wan stabs the creature, throws it off to him, and jumps up a second massive fifth. Uh, don't shoot me high. Obi-Wan swings around, cuts it in half, massive it, flies over the cliff, howling and plummets into the head in the death below. It's a tattooing cliff for moon night. Anakin pulls up near an edge of the cliff. He gets out the bike and creeps out the... He looks over Tuscan ribs to the way to his own. He doesn't get a sight of it. Uh, I can tattoo when he doesn't perform really. I can create I'm just listening to the light in the shadows to him until he arrives in the hood. Two guards there are reassured. The Anakin wiggles around the block. He takes out the lightsaber across the wall. Tuskins. Oh, the lightsaber completes in the hole in the wall. Anakin wiggles in. He is pulling himself into the into his feet. There are candles everywhere. He steps in moonlight from the hole in the roof, pierces the gloom of the hut. It is an Anakin sees Shimmy hanging from a wooden frame in the middle of the hut. He cuts the f- her free. He takes her into the arms and lowers her gently to the ground. Her eyes are closed. The b- her face is bloody. She has been terribly beaten. Anakin says, Mom, Mom, Mom. 
Shimmy's eye flutter and barely open as they can earlier kick with blood. Annie, is that you? Shimmy's eye focusing on you. Yes, I'm here, Mom. You're safe. Hang on. I'm going to get you out of here. I'm glad. I'm so I'm so glad to see you, Annie. Now I am complete. Just stay with me, Mom. I'm going to hang you. Yeah, everything's going to be fine. You look so handsome, my son. My grown-up son. I'm so proud of you, Annie. I'm so proud. I miss you so much. I love Whew, she made eyes, and I can throw out her purse. There is a sound from Anakin. He lifts his head and listens to a moment, then he sits on the floor and says, can hurt. Hmm. He's a giant sign, and Obi-Wan arrives at the head of the far below the flat plane. Switches down to the left hearing, where the stranger Obi-Wan takes his hair of Nature binoculars from his bulbs will impose them on his eyes. He's a cluster of great towers like a fantastic striker and slash from the bulb below. Slow pain. Slow pan with the binoculars and suddenly a line of uh, starships can't come into the low. The Obi Wan touches the wind view over the 50 and 100. The starships near the row are some platforms that are carrying out starships. And the ground are droids. Off to the file. A ship a fully low star ship is uh over one slings. And I could upwards to see more strange relationships. I just have to lean out on the the pale. The pale cross and ten hills. Somewhere is there a glass and old woman concerned the hut. She carries her uh this world as well as in the dirty river. Onto the ground as she goes into the hut. The skin child runs past. Dragon to the snake in the sand, the tower runs back to the wall, turns into a corner, and then suddenly. This is the best can go. And then he gets into the dark face. He's in the grim as a child's stars. And then he's flashed up like that, and he can do that. And he's gone. Oh, I'm not going to say that. And then he's like, oh, he's held. And the rest keep happening greatly. Obi Wan, oops, good lights, uh, old folks. Low Angela, a line or a victim point, splashing. Obi Wan, flickers in a group of small Jedi Yoda, Miss Windu, and Kai Abadot, and the Senators, but are gonna ask news, RC, and Jar Jar of Palpatine. Yeah, and this is really the group and the concerns. Thrasher from the Trade Federation and the commercial guys are not delivered. The bail droids from the foundries are in genocide. And the uh, treaty forbids the Trade Federation from building an army. What are we doing? A droid foundry seems to be working at full capacity. I am going to see if guess if I have a hint to the Those inside foundries are a part of the Terrace Union. They will call and everything is asking the questions. There are a few more things to mention. No, <coughs> in Darth Tarnus, any idea who that may be? With the four made Darth as a Sith, he must be our missing apprentice. They are playing their, their last. Um, they believe he could be the mysterious Sidious who made this deal for the Clone Army. Perhaps too many pieces are missing. In this puzzle, there are. Be careful, we want this investigation is becoming less a route you may help. Let's see, see if I can figure out what's going on first. I'll grab what we want to phase off Palpatine. There's a slave. The commercial guys are preparing for war. There cannot be no doubt of that. Count Dooku must have made a treaty with them. We must stop them before we lose them. The debate is over me in the corner right now. Unfortunately, the debate is not over. The Senate will never be able to approve the use of that army before the separatist attack. Must have a dilemma. Who has in the Senate until this is a crisis? The Senate voters handle an emergency. I was going to be approved. Oh man. Please, please, I am not. What is to do with the is that? It's too isolation. It is akin to a dictatorship. We must rely on Jedi and Master Yoda. 
who has a yeah, sideways window. And Yoda look at when he said, 200 or more. With all due respect from the Jedi Order, 200 will be no more than a match of a thousand battle droids. Patience, we must wait for Obi-Wan to report back. Uh, we do not know what content is the treaty with the conversation is submitted. But we must be fair for the worst. I am going to refer the motion. Guaranteed emergency powers to the Chancellor. And next session, no one has wait. One of the questions, Senator, you are, and I are too closely aligned. This issue will become part of the vehicle begun proposal. Uh, must come from a new source. If only a senator on Madama was here, Jar Jar steps forward. Uh, as Supreme Chancellor, my Augusta colleagues, I will be proud to promote the promotion. Question is grave situation, and I am Senator Sure Senator Amadama. And the Queen of Nabu will agree. Thank you. Silent publishing as if it if called upon, I would deserve, but I was the saddest day of my life. I said, Tatooine, all is quiet. Baru comes out of the house. She lost her line and was right here. Padme faces left face. Uh, there, Padme stands in the wind here. This is the three PO. This is the golden figure. We know because Padme, whatever stuff. We find in the garage. She is multicolor and has a textured. He's complete. Um, how do I look? Great, look perfect. Oh, Miss Padme, I'm so happy. Excellent. Oh, pardon me, three people. Uh, concluding, thank you. He forgets formally. No, uh, Padme has an I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Pat, grinning. Padme, uh. Uh, yeah, put me, thank you, thank you, uh, didn't do that, uh, with my mom, oh no, I suddenly am from the outside. Everyone's okay, but okay. Our hologram is not too long. It's a circling image. Alliance, yeah, they're on pledge. Armies can do the law reforming in a late, uh, attack. Uh, I don't know, make it, uh, I'm going after him. I thought the first thing he said was uh, the message of Coruscant. You're right, you're right, you're right. And this had to be an Anakin, you know, to do the repeat on the wing to Klee, all in Baru and the other side. And he sits down the cockpit with 3 PO behind him. R2 is still inside them. A hologram of his window. I'm going to deal with the, the most important thing here, Anakin, is to stay who you are. Princess Nature at all costs. Is your pretty? Understood, Master. The hologram is off. Padme is looking to read out. It's just going to, it'll never get us in time to save them. They have to come half, uh, come halfway across the galaxy. Look, Janice's sight is a person's way. Padme starts to hit buttons on the physicist. Anakin puts us uh, on her hand. Is he, if he's still alive. Annie, are you going to just sit here and let him die? He's your friend, your mentor. He is like my father, but you never heard Miss Window. He gave him strict orders to say here. You gave Padme strict orders to protect me. Padme pulls up her voice and begins switches the engine fires, continuing. And I'm going to save Master Obi Wan. So if you're protecting, you will have it. Anakin grids it to This is an Abu Starship. Hey. 200 Jedi Knights are assembling outside the Hughes Jedi Order. Jedi Council are assembling with windows. Says, the longer we wait, the stronger Dooku's army becomes. We cannot wait for the Senate to make up his mind about the Chancellor, emergency powers, and to be the clone army. We must have authority to now. To go now, we must go. The old approved. Agree, Master Windu. 200 Jedi sent. Enough. Let's hope there are. Inside, great. The uproar is even louder. Opposing. Events. And another order, order. I prefer the dynamic order. Chance of the other. It's here. When I see your herbs and drive your things. I made conflicts in the cheese and booze. Jar with two gungdoms. 
Ugh, this is his father. That's first. He looks up at me. Nervously, Pat Felton nods. Major clears his throat. Senator Dello, what do I got? Laughter. Cheers. Judge Jar Blink posted. Order the Senate a corridor representative, courtesy of hearing. Quarter of twice. Jar Jar uh, grips the edge of her. In response to the directive theory, the Republic from the Covertly Independent Systems I Promise the Senate gives the emergency powers to the Supreme Center. Uproar. Jar Jar looks a little sheepish. Continuing, who can we deny the expectations of time, expressions and times, explanational measures, explanational measures of men, explanational men? We cannot support a dictator. Shouts of the argument. This is the greatest element, with, and with, and when the shadow of war is dispersed, the real liberty has diamond dawned again. The power we now give to the Supreme Chancellor we will gradually swiftly return to our ancient liberties, will be restored to us, burns even more brightly than before. Brief silence, a roaring. And claws of a jar jar of beans and palpatine rises. This is a great resolution. I have argued this calling. I love democracy. I love the republic. The fact that this crisis is demanding, I will give absolute power to the tool over you as evidence, but I am told, I am mistold by nature. And this story demonstrates the power you give me. I will always lay down the crisis I have ever heard. I promise to you. And all of my. Currency over and over. Allow me to live my life long peace. We shall proceed to the vote. All in those in favor guaranteed emergency powers to the certain chancellor. Signal in the motion. The Naboo Starship is in the genocide. And the Naboo Starship lands. Anakin switches off. The engine R2 and 32PO in the negation cockpit. The mad Padme is in the comments. She goes, she goes up. Hey, where are you going? I'm um, to find Obi Wan. And I can get up and over to her. No, you're not. Grabs her by the arm. Let go of me. I'm not letting you go out of here. It's too dangerous. What? It's my job to protect you. I said it's too dangerous. You're not the one going. That's my own. Don't you give me orders, Annie. I'm the senator of the Galactic Republic. You have authority to constrain me or to stick, to strict me. Remember, you're a place. Young man, standing up. Now you can come along and protect me or stay here. It's too... It's up to you, Padme. Storms out of the cockpit and the Nebu, sorry. And it can stare at And then falls R2 beeps and whistles. Yes, it is R2. Mostly. Infusing one moment, generating muscle attraction in the next waves of the violent hostility, even though I am programmed to understand them. I doubt I'll let shall ever know. Two whistles. A pavilion sigh. Ugh. Um, in the end of the day, Anakin and Padme enter the sacred city. They stop looking around in uh, wonder at emptiness. It's empty. They f- start following the path as the surface floors that seem slowly high winding from the grow. The pillars that hurt itself. Um, Padme and Anakin. Uh, across the square, reaching the middle, they stop suddenly forging the grass. The mannequin reaches for the light there. Wait. Twenty winged men carry a line, a, a light, a flat sense, and a genocide part. John Count Duco appears. Yavu. Senator Amadama. I heard so much about you. Count Duco, I assume. I'm delighted to meet you at last. We have a great deal to discuss, Senator. I hope you can keep your young Jedi under control. Don't worry, he's housebroken. Count Dooku sits at a very large chair on the table of heaven. Anakin stands behind her. A four large giant standing behind him. Gent. Angel Fett stands behind Count Dooku in a six kind of station. Uh, sorry, You're looking for Obi Wan. I am informed the request that you turn it over to me now. He has convinced of a sponge senator and we will be returning to in a few hours, I believe. Count Dooku smiles. He's an officer of the Republic. You can't do that. You do not recognize the Republic. Here, Senator, but if if Naboo were to join our allowance, I could easily know your plea for coming to Anakin, grabs his lightsaber and doesn't turn it on. And I don't and I don't join your rebellion, I assume that I will die. I do not wish to join. Our case against Senator will be rational against resistance. 
Your people, I assume you do not want to know what is in your best interest. Aren't you fed up with the corruption, the aristocrats, the hypocrites of it all? Aren't you beyond a senator? The ideals are still alive, Count. Even if the institution is failing, you believe the same ideals, you believe in the same idols. I'm starting to make a proclamation. If you, if what you say is true, should stay in the Republic and help Senator Sam's in the right things. Senator probably well, my lady, he is incompetent. He has promised to cut bureaucracy and bureaucrats and are stronger than ever before. No, Senator, the Republic cannot fix it. It is time to start over. The Democrats who proceed in the Republic is a shame. A shell game played on the voters. It shall be long before the cold degree called the Republic will even lose the pretext of democracy of freedom. I cannot believe that I will forsake. I have forsaken all you can for betray the Republic. I know your trees with the Free Federation, the General Hood, and the others count. What are you homing? It's been a business. Yeah. Oh, are you willing to betray your own Jedi friends without your co corporation? I can do nothing to stop their execution. As there's a thing I excuse. I wouldn't think of such an offense, but there we are, individual strong interests in your denies, my lady. It has nothing to do with politics, I'm afraid. Purely personal, you're ready. Some of your head of assassination, I'm very sure they will punch hard. You have included the incinerations, but I'm sorry if you. No corporations are. This isn't all. Think of it, most of the engine. And take the way of engine. You may cause a lot of bloodshed, my young Jedi. You will know, be Anakin, he is a lightsaber. Anakin and Padme are standing in the center of what looks like a courtroom, seated by the tall box of his Pablo, the laser architect of Genesis. He has a complex of Genesis on writ of to one separate side of Sucker and Sucker next to them, Corsa Shard, New Jimmy passes Walt Center, Sand Hill of the Interior Black King, with along the hundred genocides. You must have been charged and found the other points. Do you have anything to say before your sentence is carried out? You are committing an act of war, Duke. And for consequences, laughs. Count Duco smiles simply. We build weapons, Senator. That's our business. Of course, we're prepared. Get on with it. Carry the sins. I will be here to suffer. Your other Jedi friend is waiting, Senator. Take them out to the arena. Four guards take them out to the arena. Your escort to your chamber and chuckling in the gloomy tunnel of the pedonite. And then you are crossing the cart. The murder of the vast crowd is off screen. Guards extend their arms to the framework and tie them so they reach each other. The driver gets onto the seats. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid to die. I've been. I've been. I, Little dove, or just taking my life. What are you talking about? I love you. You love me? I thought we were this is not to fall in love. That's what we would be forced to alive. That's the rest of our lives. Uh, I think I live. Lives are about to be a story anyway. My love for you is a puzzle, and for I have no answers. I cannot control it, and now I do not care. I truly, deeply love you before we die. I may learn such a can as an impossible focus. I have no desire to be cured of love either. Long or short, I vow to spend my life with you. Because again the driver cracks up over a restaurant between the straps and Kirk's jerks. Suddenly it's a huge roar by the sunlight in the arena, the great stadium is probably the cart it's a uh, Obi Wan is one of the horrors in the matter of the car stops. Padme and Anakin took him down, turned to the person in the chain. I was beginning to wonder if you had gotten my message. I transferred as your trusted master. Then we decided to come rescue you. It looks like you're doing it as good as so. Uh, their arms are pulled and there's a cart. Right away, there is another roar. Pago left, Sir Count Dewey and Felt Stark arrive in there. I could do all a uh, box and take their places. The felons of four have been convinced and ever sponge against the sovereign s- systems of the Genesis genocide. Their sentences is to be carried out in the public arena. There, 
Henceforth, the crowds roar and cheer in the Bucks. Paul Lester rises as the crowd becomes quiet. I think Christians begin the crowd goes wild. I have a bad feeling about this. From the gates around the arena, three hosts and in the uh, bowl, like in the lawn, you know, line, like in this uh, actually of a lobster, and then there is a device. I uh, carry out the rise the pre-answers. Who is the sooner the moment of the monsters toss their heads looking around the ring, they catch sight. If we catch this moment towards it, take, take the level, and I'll take the right one. Padme turned around, pulling herself into the chain to the top of the post. Within the moment, she is standing on top of it, trying to feel the train. It looks like she's already on top of things. Ugh. The rake charges Anakin. He jumps in the beast. The post heard Anakin. Lands onto it, back on the wrapping of his chains around her thorns. The reek lost off, shaking the tears in the post. Obi-Wan... Obi-Wan ducks around the post. Accolade charges. It is a wet post standing Obi-Wan the accolade post between the claws of chain. Obi-Wan runs after him and the pickers and their hair each other. And Nuka rises to the Padme's post and rears in the air and is on top. Padme struggles to tear off the train. Just the place where kittens are. This is the arcade of the box. They were grimy means. In order to hand it near Rio Obi Wan, which is the princess, he runs up. He runs the princess scissors. The last fear of ice chasing him. The case and then it goes down the princess scissors stand. Where the graph. And Kins Reek starts to book. It charges around the Americans. Uh, hanging for the zero life, the Williams ran to his, his hand cast into the reek's mouth. Jaws land on hard, uh, chains and Anakin yanks the hard to the chain on the reek, beginning to ride it. The Nexus claws dig into the post, cat like creatures. The top of the post, the uh, the zipper's a claw, marks across the bank. She hoses the creatures and backs out the pole. Then Padme jumps up into the air. She swings around to the chain, whacks out the beast into her head. And her head rips off her feet and tumbles onto the sand. And the archetype box fell. She cannot do that. Shoot her or something. In the arena, Obi-Wan has to uh, fall on the horse of stone. The spear actually hitting his neck. He let out a terrible screech. And John to him, the Nexus springs out and says, Please fill the pattern again. She finally manages to chain loose. Anakin comes starting in the rig. He okay, nods, gasping. Sure. Well, sort of. Jump. The Nexus springs. Padme leaps. Top of the post to land on the front rig. The Anakin. Uh, he upsets the right. The rig charges anyway. Around the Nexus bouncer. The rig passes away on clearly. Nexus. Two monsters in the the vaults. In the actual box, isn't this uh, supposed to be Janko? Finish her off. Count to go. Most of the bounty hunter. Boba Fett is enjoying his favorite lace. Patience for her she will die. This is where it's supposed to end. Obi Wan runs and jumps in the rig behind Anakin across the Nexus, having chewed up the Anakin. The Ecstasy starts to advance them towards. It is a course of the day, and her crew beeps. Yes, it has been a rather long day. It's supposed to be going to happen to me. Are two beeps and whistles danger? Oh no, I think it's so. A very dull planet. To me, they should be in your password too. And I can check the box. Arda rolls up. Count Dooku feels it's happening in his shoulder. He turns to the maze window, standing right behind Count Dooku, masks himself. Elegantly, and he serves the Jedi Knights standing at the entrance of the exit. Ma- master window. How pleasant of you to join us. You're just in time for the amount of truth I would like to think of these new boys of yours. They've been training. Sorry to disappoint you, dude. This part is over. This window singles the strategy around our flashes of light around 100 of their lightsabers. The crowd's suddenly a silent. Count Dooku is listening here. Brave, a stupid, and my old Jedi friend. Impossibly, I was never. I don't think she 
I don't think so. One Jedi has to be worth a thousand. Yeah, can't do looks around. As I found Zuku, it was in a side I was only thinking about what Zuku can do. One Jedi hold up against the entire set of Jars. Found Zuku signals south and of Jars start in all parts. Mace Windu draws his lightsaber. Jango Fett draws his guns and fires at Mace Windu, who defects the shots. Jango Fett, uh, and Mace Windu jump into the arena where they fight Boba Fett and watch his dad. Uh, the battle begins. Genocide is for droids. Fire is the flag to the hold. Droids is genocide. Here's fire air guns. And the droids are the weak in the next two. Uh, battle is uh, the, the riders. And is uh, at the arena. Droids and Jedi are wounded in the past. Padme appears at the disc of pistol and joins the fight. Several Jedi run to the center of the arena. Tons of lightsabers to Obi Wan and among the crowd of Jedi <laughs> on the sand Jedi fight attack droids. Idawa and the Iron Hands is the lightsabers. Droids in half past me. Bless the way, droids. And the two whistles. I don't hear anything. R2 beeps. Whew. You're scaring me, imagine that. Among the tires, Jedi are slowly being driven back and killed hapes genocides. And they have piles of droids shearing in numbers and tons of individuals. Jedi are being blasted in front of all the rest of them. <laughs> Anakin and Padme are back to back fighting droids and flying. <laughs> Genesis. Mace Windu fights the first thing as the Zenny Hunter falls to his helmet and sets it up. Tumbling and rolling, they kick out of their, their random feet. The bounty hunter is fell to the ground. Mace Windu runs to the center of the arena, fights back to back with. Obi Wan as they wipe us in as droids. Someone's gotta shut down these droids. Don't worry, it's being taken care of. Ekabedu leads a party of about 20 Jedi. Through the lines of the park drill ship, they cut to the next ship. Some Jedi failed. The rest of them cut their way to the command ship. Commander's as sorry to very Jedi. Chorus and the command ship. They threw no laser birds. They burst into the bridge. And chopped down the commander. The Mediterraneans flee into the direction of all the things, and he locates the inverted dimensions down, and it goes dark and slanting the droids start to ship all the droids near a freeze. There is a moment of silence this year, and all the bridges. Yeah. We've done it, now we have a chance. Suddenly, there's a rush speaking sound. Droids are on starship, all the droids in the arena start fighting again. If Paris is stairs in this man, there's some light is still active. There's a few new features. They might are independent of the controls to the Mace Windu and Obi Wan, Anakin, Padme, and he's uh, this group. A uh, 20 Jedi in the center of the arena, surrounded by a ring of battle droids with a ball, bloody sand around them. There's a little body is dead as in the center of the Jedi, at the front of Boba Fett. This is water. In the survivors raiding party in the heart of the superiors, several droids from the encrusted tires, thousands of battle droids. Uh, an architectural box and two cool as his hand, the droids lower their weapons. The count mm -hmm. rest when do silence. Counting, you have fought gallantly for recognition of the Jedi Order. Now it is finished, positively. Surrender, and your lives to be spared. You, we will not hostage for this count, Dooku. And I'm sorry, my old friend, you'll have to be destroyed. The droids are released, the weapons are anarchy and the good. This the Anakin. Look, about six gunships are ascending fast. In the area of Sandy's around the Jedi, the clones surface spill and start on the droids. There is a hell storm of laser fire that bounces off shields created by the gunships. Yoda appears at the door with the one gunship. Come on, hurry up, sir. The surviving Jedi dash the gunships. Scramble in. Mace Windu hangs on tight to the gunship, firing the rifles out of the the, 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 the mass. The mass lined of parking Federation ships droids surrounding the area are for themselves surrounded by thousands of public, tens of thousands of clones troopers beyond their public starships. Hmm. Landing, spewing on droids, 
Mace window stairs in the center. More. That lens to the left and cars to show some. Corn chippers have been fired as the explosions direct to the park's battleships. Corn chippers. Advanced firing mysterious first flying will work so see gunships in the dark wing. Free PPO and R2 flash outside, exploding everywhere. I'm sure I'm having this time. Didn't you? It's probably just a celebration. R2 what's exhausted as to be Gunship 2 excites the battlefield floating down. That's hurting answering fire from the droids. Obi Wan and Anakin and Padme. Open the gunship clones in the territory as well. The gunship slows down, circling a blast. It's suddenly gunship. Right, this is violently. Hold on, look over there. Throughout the gunship's center, uh, in the, in the open cockpit, in the unmistakable Count Dooku. It's Dooku. Go after him. The, pl- the pilot starts to comply, but there is a huge blast. The ship launches on its side. And Anakin, uh, says it constantly patting me. Anakin starts to. And starts stares down in as Padme Instagram below. Continuing to deploy it to the ship below. Don't forget her. We have to save her. No, we're not. Land this ship. Don't let your personal feelings get in the way. We have to do this job. Below, Padme hauls herself to the feet. And waits for the things to go after Dooku. I do not care. Go back. Anakin, she's all right. Anakin stares at Padme. Do the rest of all that feature on the ground. Padme looks through the gunship so It speeds after Count Dooku. Oh, we want to fight in a genocide. It's our and it's Peter. The gunship fills. Count Dooku's spear across the tower. The gunship next to the gun. And it can leave down to the inside tower. Count Dooku throws a switch into the control bar. He's in the inside the tower. Sierra by a squadron of super vital droids. The doors are with the doors and the Count Dooku tunes. Obi Wan and Anakin as they run to the hangar and George is the usual that's here with George and Ruben. Uh, the yes, captain stand up. And he then George lower their weapons and back off to the walls. Count Dooku looks at Obi Wan and Anakin. With his heels, we move in together. We're slowly, the, I'm taking the. No, Anakin. You don't have to pay for the. Uh, you killed today. Anakin charges across open as at Count Dooku who smiles faintly. Watching him to come, Anakin raises his lightsaber at the last moment. Count Dooku threats as Anakin is lifted up. Throw across the room, slams to up the wall. He slams into uh, the. And uh, Kenobi isn't isn't it? It's, as you can see, uh, my devils are far beyond yours. Now back down. I don't think so. Obi Wan lifts his lightsaber. Count Dooku smiles. Uh, yes, but if we must. Count Dooku draws his lightsaber, and Obi Wan starts. This is really so there. Continuing, I have spent the last ten years learning to use my power of the dark side. It gives me infinitely great power. You will have to have a great power. Obi Wan comes in fast, swinging at Count Dooku's head. Dooku party parries. The last first fighting it quickly. Dooku is completely swordsman, elegant, graceful, classic, a master of style. Great man, who's this white man? Yoda holds you into such a great self-esteem. Count Dooku prayers in the cut. Containing Shirley or Perry's. I'm sure he has Jedi swordsman Zikri. Okay, to make me fun of me. Cuts. Which is it? Count Dooku threats to Obi Wan to take a breath. Come, come, Master Can we put me in my misery. Obi Wan takes a brief breath to get a fresh grip on his lifesaver and comes again for a moment. He drives out Count Dooku. Dooku's. The period skills begin to take care of in the force begins to Obi Wan retreat. Count Dooku increases the tempo of his attack. Obi Wan pushes to into the limit and defends Dooku reposes his lightsaber flashes. Obi Wan is wounded in the shoulder. Then he sighs and he thigh and he stumbles back against the wall. He trips and falls against his lightsaber, skittering across the floor. Count Dooku raises his lightsaber. Obi Wan looks up to Count Dooku's lightsaber flashes and flashes against Anakin's lightsaber. Count Dooku and Anakin stare at the eye of all. That's a brave boy of you, but foolish. I heard the thought. You would have learned your lesson. I am a slow learner. Anakin charges out the door and the forces of his attack. Count Dooku flashes Anakin's lightsaber. Flashes Count Dooku draws. 
back into his arm. He takes out his hand, looks at his similar, and both of us nicking him. You have unusual powers, but not enough to save your time. Don't bet on it, Anakin. Obi-Wan uses the force to catch his lightsaber and tosses it into Anakin with that tool. Anakin starts attacks Count Dooku Perry's and throws no into the contest. Anakin is driving in the wall. Let's see if I can do good things. Anakin. Anakin gets sent against the. Uh, and cannot do cool. And the stuff into his liver. Suddenly the great doors slide open. The droids turn fast, raising their weapons through the sky of smoke. Here over the Yoda. He stops on the smoke cruise threshold for. Eyes of each other before the droids get on the shot. Yoda raises his hand, and the droids flum against the four walls. And the four sounds the sounds. Count Dooku steps away from Anakin, faces Grand saying, Master Yoda, at least we shall. You know who is more powerful. Yoda draws his mini saber of his lip. Count Dooku, not interested in constant, I have you. Count Dooku charges across the space of Yoda. He arranges upon a tiny figure. Yoda does not appear to be doing at first. The part of him consists of Perry. Cut and thrust Dooku is nothing great swordsman. Yoda uh, tries to get his energy and drain. So it's like. Yoda attacks the fellas and Count Dooku is returned. After retreat, the white person is going to describe the range and skill of Yoda's speed and swords play his lightsaber. His humming blur of light, Count Dooku's lightsaber is the scent cart reeling from his hand. He staggers back, gasping and sent against the control panel. Yoda jumps onto Dooku's shoulders and is about to draw the lightsaber on top of his head. Continuing the end for you, Count. This is not yet. Count Dooku raises his arm. Knocks out Yoda and says that then also might use as a force to pull on crazy finger. It comes crashing in Obi Wan and Anakin, but in the blink of an eye, Yoda is under a crane. Oh, holding it up, using the force, Yoda can close his country. Anakin is unconscious. Yeah, uh, Obi Wan tries to. Uh, crane, the crane falls, and uh, then the sounds of Sally's ship and sub. Yoda comes to spies harder. Slowly the crane rises, the sound of engines increase. Yoda experiences his trap. The crane lifts the Anakin. He threw into the high ground. Dooku sail ship takes off. Oh, Anakin and then is after Yoda, but it is too late. The sail ship runs into a flight. Padme and the clone captain without troopers in the doorway. <laughs> Anakin. Padme runs. Runs to him, throws there is barely able to stand up. The clone captain in armor he is up. He stops and there is a resistance. Is that an end general? What are we going to do? He uh, looks at his eyes. Count Dooku sends a soft step with the right out of the coruscant. Count Dooku moves that into his head and rolls. The ramp lowers. Count Dooku emerges and walks into the hut. Figure of Darth Sidious is walking. Count bows. The force is with us, my master. Welcome home, Sartarius. You have done well. I bring you good news, my lord. The war has begun. Excellent. Everything is going as planned. The beautiful temple and the garden is in the Mace, what is your. What is your princess? He's wants me back to you. Sourcing the funeral at home. You're standing on the cell with a great plaza. Yoda is sitting in his chair. I must admit, without the clones, I would have not been a victory. Victory, victory, you say? Obi-Wan turns to the cell Jedi sitting in the council chamber, apart from Kaiser and Paul Curran, who is the wounded chair for is empty. <sighs> Continuing, not victory, it defeated, it was Master Yoda. Master Obi-Wan began the Clone Wars, has Naboo Lake Retreat, 
Not to like the he's a rose cover over and they swore from the light in pattern before the holy holy man. They peep you over now. I said why the holy man blesses the capital. I mentioned the following rose of the Anakin pen I kissed for a son. Uh Palpatine joined her uh, the two royal guards. They walking down the race guard, tens of thousands of clone troops are drawn up in a search formation for assistance in the military. On the back of only Palpatine's expression is a deeply sad. Everyone watches Conrad as in square load, loaded assault ships take off other lands immediately in their place. The sky above is thick with transports. Clone troopers march on the warships. The great clone wars. Has begun. Fade out. The end. Oh. Why did I read that entire freaking thing? <laughs>